nearly two millennia, the promised land of the Bible was a barren wasteland. Its archaeological ruins, a reminder of its glorious history, its people scattered throughout the four corners of the world. But towards the end of the 19th century, things began to change. I think we have a privilege of seeing with our own eyes the words of the book materializing and becoming a reality. Elo 25 and director David Kerr invite you on an incredible journey to discover the beauty of the land of the Bible and meet the people who call this place home. Everybody that will come to Israel, touch the land and touch the people, it will change his life. To me, Israel is family, it's home. Israel is to me my dream, my hope, my future. I think I'm privileged to have grown up in a land where my grandfather, where his parents, where his forefathers only dreamed of seeing built one day. I remember when we start to play in the vineyards, all the export says it's not going to work. Nothing will go here. God says, mountain, shoot forth your branches, give forth your fruit, my children are coming home. Every fruit you see is prophecy fulfilled. It's something that people couldn't have imagined 50 years ago. Something is happening of historic proportions. It says, I will bring you in from the four corners of the earth, and people will know that you are my people and that I am your God. Discover for yourself the miracle of the land and the courageous hearts of the people of Israel. I am 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 Israel. To me, Israel, it's the best proof God exists and still acting in our world. Visit to be All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. And this is was a movie. It's called I Am Israel. Sound very interesting to watch. Um, uh, today our topic is about Erdogan and what Erdogan he said. But what Erdogan he said is nothing new. It is what Muslims they say every day. However, uh, talk is cheap. Action, speak. The same day this filthy Erdogan, he said, Jerusalem is red line, is the same day uh, <laughs> Israeli flights lands in Turkey. So when he was in the stage saying to the Muslims, Jerusalem is red line, we will not accept Jerusalem to be the... <laughs> in the same time, in the same moment, Israeli airlines were landing in the heart of what is called today Turkey. This is the biggest scam person in the history. He says something, he do the opposite. Israel is one of the biggest supply for arms and emissions technicians for the army of Turkey. Turkey is one of the biggest supply of information, of intelligence to the Israeli intelligence. So in public he want to fight Israel, but in reality he is one of their puppet. One of their puppet. When Erdogan he went to uh, Israel, he was speaking as if he was a Jew. And he act as if he is a Jew. Because all of us we knew that the one who made him a president, it was Israel. So what this is about, you know, this guy. In one hand, he want to be the caliphate. In the other hand, he is the puppet. 
In one hand, he is support ISIS. In the other hand, he is their man. In one hand, he threat Israel. In the other hand, he is with Israel. I mean, who is this guy? This guy is nothing but a scumbag. He take opportunity. Whatever the opportunity is, he is with it. Actually, Turkey exists because of Israel and because of America. If not American, and the stupid American, sorry to say, Turkey would be collapsing long time ago. If you go back not long time ago, when the Turkish lira was bankrupt, it was the stupid American is the one who sponsored it and make Turkey stand in its feet again. Each time Turkey collapse, the first one to stand and support Turkey is the stupid American. So we can say that the Ottoman or what is left of the Ottoman Empire is standing until now because of the stupid American. Now, why the stupid American? They are supporting the stupid Erdogan. Very simple. They want a puppy. They prefer to have a puppy they control from someone else they don't control. As simple as that. In one hand, Erdogan, he makes a speech about Islam, about uh, Quran, Prophet Muhammad. In the other hand, Turkey is the land of nightclub and prostitution. I mean, number one income, when they ask the, the Mufti of Turkey, why you don't make fatwa to close all nightclub? Fatwa is a holy order to close anything or the, against anything. He said, if we do so, who's going to pay for your salary? <laughs> so this is the Islamic Turkey Erdogan. You know, Erdogan is the, the Muslim president who his wife, she wore hijab. But if you go in the street, you see people wearing a bikini. I mean, in one side, they pray Allahu Akbar and Ramadan and etc. And you are Muslims, they are Muslims supposedly. In the other hand, you go to Turkey, you see nothing about Muslims. Where we can find the Muslims in Turkey? Any Muslim can point for me? Actually, in the city of Adana, just a few days ago, Adana? No, no, Azmir, sorry, Azmir. They were playing Italian music in the, in the, in the, instead of the Adan in the mosque. Let me find you the news. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> uh, I mean, imagine how much this country, how much Muslim this country. Italian song Bella Chaya broadcast from several mosques. This is when? Six days ago. Bella Chaya? Instead of Allahu Akbar? Bella Bella, how are you? Ciao, ciao, ciao for you. Muhammad, he was replaced by ciao. And Allah was replaced by Bella. Bella Bella, how are you? Shame on Muhammad, shame on you. So this is an Islamic country or it is what? Nothing left of Islam in Turkey. Actually, I believe Erdogan, he is there for very simple reason. He is the best puppet for those who want a puppet he can control them you know the muslim brotherhood which is was the plan of obama to replace what is called islamic terrorism and i will explain it to those who don't have too much uh, background of the muslim brotherhood muslim brotherhood is an organization dreaming about establishing the caliphate you can say they are ISIS before ISIS. And the American, as always, and I say American government, not American people. I am an American. American government is behind every scumbag evil in this earth, sadly. So they sponsor the Muslim Brotherhood. And this is why they sponsor Erdogan. And what is the plan? The plan is so stupid, showing you that those who call themselves CIA they are CIA dummy, they are CIA rats, they are CIA, f f I don't know what, what to call them. But the plan was simple. Instead of having Al-Qaeda 
and ISIS. What we are going to do, we are going to sponsor the Muslim Brotherhood. And this is a middle range terrorist organization. It's not too much. You, we can sort of, we can live with it. So the plan was as the following. We will make Erdogan present the Muslim Brotherhood and which mean already Turkey is under the Muslim Brotherhood control. And the plan was that we will take the Assad regime and we will make the Muslim Brotherhood in Syria control Syria. And then Jordan is very easy to control because 80% of Jordan is Muslim Brotherhood. So now we will have Jordan. And then a few years before ago, the Muslim Brotherhood literally they took over Egypt. So Egypt became in their hand. And then Al Bashir, who is the president of Sudan, he became he supported the Muslim Brotherhood. He became their puppy. So now we will remove the border between Egypt and Sudan. And the red line present where the Muslim Brotherhood supposedly will control. And this is the plan of the CIA. And Libya was literally almost controlled by the Muslim Brotherhood, all of it, until some change happened. And we will talk about that soon. Tunisia, right now as we speak, is under the control of the Muslim Brotherhood. So look what we are talking about. We are talking about countries extend all the way from Turkey all the way to the heart of Africa, controlling a huge amount of resource of oil and gas and Mediterranean Sea. Same time, the Muslim Brotherhood, they did not forget about Saudi Arabia. So they did their part in there and they try to make a control of Saudi Arabia and United Arab Emirates. And that will make, and Qatar already is under the, the, the Muslim Brotherhood, the, the Prince of Qatar is a member of the Muslim Brotherhood, and that will make this state controlling the major resource of oil and gas in the world. Turkey controlling all of them, Erdogan will control Syria, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, Emirates, uh, Sudan, Egypt, Libya, and Tunisia. But then the stupid American, they forgot that there's a smart Russian exists in this earth. The smart Russian, they came and they burned the coke of the CIA. And now we will use another line to present what the Russian did. So the Russian, they came here and they told Erdogan, get lost and they established again borders in this area. And they kicked all the fighters who work for Erdogan from this area. So Syria is back and they're the enemies of Erdogan. And then the Saudi Arabia government, they discovered the port or the plan of the Muslim Brotherhood to take over their country. So Saudi Arabia announced Muslim Brotherhood to be a terrorist organization. And the funny that Saudi Arabia announced that Muslim Brotherhood are terrorist organization, yet Trump, he will not do that because he is a potato. So Saudi Arabia, they took off the plan of Erdogan and the CIA and they deleted this line and now they are not actually they arrested every single Muslim Brotherhood in Saudi Arabia. Every single of them, same as in Emirat, because Emirat discovered the plan of the Muslim Brotherhood to take over them. So both of them, the Saudi and the Emirati, they arrest all Muslim Brotherhood in their country. <clears throat> Which means if you are now in a Muslim Brotherhood and you live in those country, you will be arrested immediately and you might be executed. 
The only place left for Muslim Brotherhood now is Qatar, which is a small, tiny island. And the Prince of Qatar is very well-known terrorist supported by the stupid Trump. Let us say he is supported by all American Trump, uh, Obama Trump, George Bush Trump, all of them, they are the same. And we change names only. But when it's come to politics outside, it's the same garbage. So uh, in Saudi Arabia, they lost. Erdogan, he lost his dream. In Syria, he lost his dream. And in Jordan, for sure, he lost dream because if Syria is gone, he cannot go take over Jordan. And then uh, the, the Egyptian, surprisingly, by the help of the Egyptian Christians, they made a revolution against the Muslim Brotherhood who won the election not long time ago, and they control all of Egypt. So what happened? That Egypt is gone from the plan of the Muslim Brotherhood or dream. And guess what? Then Sudan have another revolution by the support of Saudi Arabia and Emirates. And Sudan, uh, uh, which is supported by the Saudi and the Emirati, they were able to get rid of al-Bashir, who is supporter of the Muslim Brotherhood. So Sudan is gone from the map. And then the Russian, they sponsor uh, a big general in Libya. His name is Haftar. And Haftar, he took almost most of Libya under his control. We can say all this area, let us make it in a green color, is under his control. So the Muslim Brotherhood dream in Libya is gone too. The map vanished. And Erdogan now is in a chaos because his country is bankrupt. And the whole plan is, if we control all those countries, you can imagine how much money will come to Turkey. You see, the Ottoman always they use the stupid Arab, and sadly, I am, a, I am an Arab, uh, to control them. You know, those Arab just drive them by the dream, or tell them caliphate, Islam, etc. And then they became subdued. And then Erdogan, he can use Islam as a way to take control of all those resources. And his dream is collapsing. And now he is sending troops from Syria, from the Syrian terrorist organizations, and his army to Turkey, hoping maybe he can stop Haftar. And actually, in the last few days, he was able to accomplish some little victory here and there in Libya. But still, he is far away from doing such a thing. Because I don't think the Russian, neither the Saudi, neither the Emirati, they will let him get successful in Libya. So what's happening there is very simple. Erdogan is bankrupt. And when you are bankrupt, you try to find any way, any solution to get rich, to get money. And that is not happening. The Russian are there, even if the Americans are supporting Erdogan. You will notice that wherever Erdogan goes, Americans, they support him. And you ask yourself how somebody is against Israel is supported by Trump. It doesn't make sense. I mean, this guy, he support Israel, but at the same time, he support Erdogan. And he keep talking about Erdogan as a friend. How that can be? Very simple. Because what you see in the surface is not what is under the water. What is under the water is an evil plan to control what it's called Muslim nations by using someone like Erdogan. But they don't know the danger of this because this Erdogan is like a dog. You feed him, he bites you. The American, they did not learn their lesson. You know, they used to support before Taliban and Al-Qaeda. And then Al-Qaeda, when Al-Qaeda get bigger and stronger, the first thing they did, it is to bite the one who made them, or let's say the one who sponsored them, the American. The American, they never learn, learn you know, uh, uh, and when I say American, remember, I'm saying American government. Very stupid, arrogant government. All what they care for is business and money. Value is not exist. You know, in America, in government in America, they speak about value when the value fit with them. As an example, the president of Syria, he is a bad uh, president because he's a dictator. And for sure he's a dictator. I mean, absolutely. We agree. But the Trump, he don't see the prince of Saudi Arabia and the king of Saudi Arabia as dictators. They are friends. Uh, they are good uh, friends. <laughs> I mean, in Saudi Arabia, 
not only you will disappear they will cut your pieces they will make you shish kebab the same as they did to the to to the guy in turkey remember khashakji and by the way this khashakji he is a terrorist too so he's not better but he is one of them but in america if you are our friend hmm? if you are our friend and our friend mean our puppy okay so here we will put a puppy this is a puppy we will put a sign in blue this is a puppy land so the puppy land they can do whatever they want because you know they are our puppy uh, erdogan is our puppy so he can do whatever he want he have tens of thousands of people arrested for a political reason and until now usa have no sanction on him you believe it no sanction tens of thousands who they are politically arrested including journalists teachers professors and trump he didn't see it eh, i mean what nothing happened there is that erdogan is still a democratic person for us egypt when the egyptian they kicked out uh, the muslim brotherhood from their country the first one who threatened to make a sanction against egypt for replacing the muslim brotherhood guess who it was usa because egypt is not our puppy and this is not the plan we want the muslim brotherhood there imagine why in the world obama will make an immediate threat i mean that the, 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 they did not do anything yet people are striking in the street against the muslim brotherhood president obama he go on tv and he says we will put sanction in egypt if they remove him when hillary clinton she went and she met with one one person from libya one person do you know who the one they met him from libya it was the leader of the muslim brotherhood why hillary clinton she is meeting the muslim brotherhood leader for he is the poppy this is the plan and the plan of Obama is not working. Then the Russian came. And the Russian, they screw all the plan, the evil plan of USA, sadly. I mean, I say evil, sadly, because, you know, I mean, I live in this country. I love this country. But it's sad to see we have evil plan always by the government we have. Can you believe it that in America, who they say they support women right? They claim they, they support gays, they support lesbian, they support the phenomenon movement, they support blah, 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 all the garbage. You know, they, 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 they speak, they, 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 they say things which are, is a garbage for me because they say something, they do something. They are the same one who support Muslim Brotherhood, who will kill you if you don't fast. They are the one who killed the Muslim Brotherhood. They are the one who killed as Sadat, who signed the peace agreement with Israel. Why they killed him? Because he signed a peace agreement with Israel. So how you support Israel in the same time you support the enemy of Israel? Hamas in Israel is the, you know, Muslim Brotherhood have many, many names. Hamas is an army brigade of the Muslim Brotherhood. And everybody knows. So how you support Muslim Brotherhood in one hand and you are against Hamas in the other hand? It doesn't make sense. No, it makes sense. If you are evil. When you are evil, everything makes sense to you. All right. So Erdogan is still hoping that Trump he will help, and now he is hoping that Trump he will help him in Libya to take over Libya, and he hope that the CIA will support Erdogan and the Muslim Brotherhood who they are in a small territory in this area in Libya. They will support them against Haftar, which is supported by the Russian. You know so they can gain and take over libya and that will make all the oil of libya in the pocket of turkey and that will string turkey and turkey then will take over syria again and they will be powerful to take maybe most of iraq where the kurdish area is located and then maybe they will be able to take over uh, over egypt and maybe they will be able to talk over saudi arabia but that is a dream trump he cannot make it happen because Trump, he have a lot of problems, and it doesn't matter how much he tried to support the evil Erdogan, 
he still is limited for there is other major forces in this earth thank god that not only us america is a superpower because that will be really very bad for everybody when you have somebody he have control of the whole earth and he is evil then evil will come uh, so Erdogan when he say things he don't mean them he mean the opposite there's things they say for customer and there's things they say for the one they do business with them customers are just a bunch of fool you know they see our commercial so we fold them by the commercial but there is real people who knew what's happening and the new pe the people who knew what's happening they laugh at Erdogan when he say Jerusalem is a red line in fact Israel today as, as a state came back to existence because of the Ottoman many people do not know that yes Israel is the land of the Jews yes they are the one who have the land yes they are the one who should have the land but it is the it is the old man who they are always obsessed with money those old men they love money they are money worshippers they worship no god but dollar but gold and silver so when the uh, sultan he was in turkey during the time england and france occupying most of the middle east they told him the sultan you need a lot of money man you're bankrupt so we can give you some money huh? the jews they will support you if you allow the jews to go back to israel and the sultan oh really you give me money sure okay come back no no problem okay we'll come everybody else will come and then the jews they start coming to israel and this is how israel start back and get their land back to them it was by the sultan so the sultan is the biggest help to israel to now to be exist as a state and now the same sultan is saying we don't we will not let you exist that is a joke <laughs> anyway so this is just to give you an idea about what this guy this guy is just a, actually for me i'm so happy that Erdogan is still a president and many of you maybe will say how come i will tell you why you see in the, previously the previous government before Erdogan was uh, liberals and they are against islam actually you know they forbid even women to wear, to wear hijab but by doing though they were able to convince the european union which is a very stupid union that we are capable of joining you for we have the same value like you so the stupid european almost they opened their doors to turkey to join european union and if turkey joined european union turkey became shish kebab i mean uh, sorry europe uh, Turkey alone is a hundred million, you know, and that will make maybe 25% of the population of Europe if they join. So by having Erdogan, that prevented Turkey from joining for some time as long someone like this is exist. So I would like to see always someone like Erdogan in Turkey. He talked too much, he do nothing. In the same time, he will prevent Turkey from joining the European Union. So this is for our best, not the opposite, all right? However, this person is evil, but his evil will destroy him and will conquer him because always evil come back to you, no matter what you do. And this is always what history, you know, taught us. Always evil will come back to you. You send it away, it come back to you. Now, somebody was saying in the chat that Christian Prince in Instagram if he if he sees somebody he knew more than him i mute him hmm if somebody knows more than me and mute him oh, okay like what like the guy who says to me all the arab are liars the one who says to me that all the seers are liars the one who says all hadith are lies or the one who says Quran, most of it is not written by God, it's by a human. So Muslims, I mean, you complain about anything, but yet they don't dare to call me. And this is the excuse, I'll mute you. Okay, you find me a Muslim who claim to be a person who have reputation that he is really a sheikh. I will never mute you. And I, I don't mute them, actually. I hang up on them. 
What to mute you? I don't mute you. I hang up on you if you start saying stupid things. If you don't accept your own book, then we will debate about what? You? Your opinion? Doesn't matter. We, de we debate a religion, not an opinion of a person. So if a person, he says to me, well, I don't accept this hadith. Okay, don't accept it. So why are you are calling me? We are debating people who accept their prophet teaching and their Quran teaching. You don't accept it, don't call me. I will hang up on you. Right? So those who claim that they can debate me, uh, but uh, I mute them, that's a lie. You know, all the sheikhs, not a single sheikh from those who call, they are called sheikh, they call me and I hang up on them. We have their debate is there because they are sheikhs. We shake them. Well, go watch it. We hang up on kids who start saying things which have nothing to do with our topic. Right? And they knew their size. And you know, by the way, you can go live in the air in your channel. So if I hang up on you, you can continue and people will see. You know, they see how hero you are. Still, you can't make it. All right? Uh, by the way, uh, the guy who his name uh, uh, insane oh sorry insane he made a video and he is talking about me but i think he you know and this time he did not use english because he don't want me to know what he's saying <laughs> so i will not respond to him supposedly <laughs> oh, yeah. man so if if one of you can uh, uh, can uh, translate for me what this potato he said. Uh, let us see here. Uh, yeah. The, the video is called Jawaban Christian Prince. Jawaban a grade. A grades. Atas Hajatan Christian Prince. Kabadala, uh, Quran, Tintin, Lambur, Hitim, whatever it is. All right. So he made it, but not, he, there's no English. So I will not know what he said. All right. Potato. I mean, potato, if you are answering Christian Prince, why you don't speak to Christian Prince? Okay. How, how I will know now what you are saying? Don't worry. I will make a video about it. <laughs> and I, I, I just before I come in the on, online, I decide to listen to what he is saying here. To see what he's talking about. I mean, okay, what what is this uh, uh, drama is about? So he said uh, this. Let us see. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Stop. Why you say assalamu alaikum? But your sheikh, your master, he say hi, Christian Prince. I mean, you say assalamu alaikum, he say hi. Have you ever heard of a student like uh, okay Katu alhamdulillah hari ini kita berada di di mana Ustaz di Gobak Morono di daerah Kota Mobagus Sulawesi Utara Gobak Morono artinya apa Ustaz eh, kebun hijau lah ya kira kita kebun hijau di Kota Mobagus Sulawesi Utara dan akhir-akhir ini kita banyak mendengar dan menyaksikan tentang tuduhan dan pelecehan yang dilakukan oleh Chris. I know, I know. He's answering about the the black mud. I know. I saw because he he put in Arabic. But the question is, why he don't speak in English as usual? You know, because he don't dare anymore. Like if I if I say something in English, he will get me busted. <laughs> but don't worry. Be happy. I will make some brothers. Help me and translate what you said there, and I will spank you, man. The spank is coming. So I will do tomorrow a video for you about this, and somebody will send me the translation. Let us choose just one person to translate. Who want to translate for me and send it to my Patreon? Because you don't want any, everybody to do the same. There's no need for many people to translate. Who want to translate for me? Who speak Indonesian additional to me? Or I am the only one who speak Indonesian here. Who want to translate for me? Give me, give me, give me one. I translate for you. I can translate for you. Sure, I speak. Uh, you know, because uh, you see, 
in order to understand any language, just say inshallah and you will understand it. <laughs> Who want to translate it for me? Uh, okay, Emmanuel, Michael. Okay, Emmanuel, you send me. Do you, do you have Patreon? Can you? Are you in Patreon? We want somebody to send translation in Patreon. Who of you is in Patreon? He can send me the translation in Patreon. Just one, one person in Patreon. Who is in Patreon? We are blessed. Will do it. Okay. I did not see. We are blessed saying that. We don't want everybody to do it, just one. Until now, we are not getting... We are blessed, but I don't see... We are blessed saying we will do it. Yeah. I need two people to compare. Okay. Uh, let us choose one. Okay, let us do this. After we finish uh, this video, you guys post a translation. If you see one person post translation, don't post after him because there is no need for you to do it. Let us make it simple. After we finish this video, one of you post the translation. She will do. Okay. So okay, anyway, we plus will will send me a message in uh, in Patreon. And here, here they see the guy. He will try to explain how the sun set in murky water. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy uh, my friend Mr. Insane it is too sad that you are sitting next to a spring of murky water behind you and you are trying to explain that the sun doesn't sit there I mean I look behind you the scene is very nice but is it in the Quran it says a spring of muddy hot water? It's a spring, you idiot, not an ocean. Anyway, we'll see what he said. Uh, <clears throat> but I hope he will not from now on start making videos in, in Indonesian because he's afraid I will understand what he's saying. Don't worry, I have a lot of people to translate for me. And, uh, yeah, you know, uh, actually, now I, I bought a new kajit. I'm not going to tell you what it is. It's a magical kajit, you know. I can just translate anything in the screen. Unbelievable. This may, will help me a lot. I just purchased it. Actually, I think today is going to arrive. Should I do unboxing? Guys, should I do unboxing for it? Like those in YouTuber? I will do unboxing. And I will spoke, speak about the camera. <laughs> I mean, those unboxing videos in YouTube are hilarious. You will see like the same, let us say a phone. A 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 50,000 video about the same phone. And most of them don't have it. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, uh, I mean, isn't it enough like one, two, three, four, it's like a kind of uh, people are obsessed with those things these days. And you see, never buy something unless it's going to be a great benefit for you. For me, when I found that this gadget, I'm not going to tell you the name because uh, it's a surprise. Uh, it translates anything in the screen. I love it. I said, that's what I want. And not only that, I can draw in the screen too. So I will use it for, especially when I am in the go, I cannot sit in my computer to make short videos. In the same time, I will be able to translate text in the screen. So when Muhammadan from Indonesia, they post comment, we can get them busted with their comment. Isn't it cool? That would be cool, isn't it? So I will have like an Indonesian assistant next to me. I click at the text and the Indonesian assistant, he will tell me that Christian Prince, Kabada al Quran. Alright? Immediately. By the magic of Allah. Hmm. So uh, I'm excited to do better stuff soon. And I hope you guys you will take my short videos 
and that will make it easier for you to have short video to be translated so you can add subtitle and I want you please if you know anyone from Korea and Japan and China please we need your help to add subtitle you can download the video add subtitle and repost it as you wish all right please 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 those are urgent uh, if you speak Spanish you know they are trying to fool people from everywhere all countries they need our help we are here to help everybody you see I am uh, uh, I'm doing my best to help people of Indonesia because Indonesia is the biggest Islamic country in the world however doesn't mean that I don't love those who they are in you know other countries like India and etc but most of Indian they speak English you know Indian are very most of them they are very fluent in English this is why we don't really have a need to translate to the Indian people because most of Indian their education all of it is in English actually they speak English better than me and the proof is brother Titor I'm going to explain to you how Christian Prince he answer question first of all Christian Prince he do not know what he's talking about and if you ask him a question he have no answer for it and I will give you an example I train Christian Prince if you can't tell me one verse in the Bible it says that this is I'm God worship me and you will see immediately that Christian Prince he said I can't find it uh, so this is like a Nick. he speak English but it's an Indian version but the difference between him and the Indian this guy he say it with rain you know a lot of things will come from his mouth so like if you are afraid of corona or something take an umbrella with you so uh, you know I'm not worried about the Indian to understand me I love the Indian people uh, the wood came uh, mostly Indonesian so even if you respond the wood okay all right, but we depend. You see, I I will I will respond this this uh, kid who the Muslim they are using him. Poor guy. I feel sorry for him. But uh, and actually, this is why he became a Muslim because most of subscribers they are uh, Indonesian. And you know, there is something I notice that in countries like Philippines, uh, Indonesia, they have an obsession with Korean people. I, I'm not sure why. I mean. If a Korean boys singers come into a Philippine and Filipino people go crazy, like, and everybody want to be a Korean, like a Korean, you know, it's like I don't know, there is something not right in the society. I mean, in the culture. I mean, you should the first thing you should like, like yourself. If you're not like yourself, you're kind, you're ethnic. I say, you know, why you, why you are obsessed with someone from different country? Just I don't know that they are obsessed with their look, they are obsessed with their uh, uh, makeup, they are obsessed with their and the Korean themselves, they are obsessed with the Western. I mean, everybody is obsessed with somebody and nobody is obsessed with himself. I'm the only one who like being an Arab. This is the best thing happened to me. I'm unbelievable being an Arab. <laughs> I open the faucet, I find oil. <laughs> I go to the bathroom, I find gas. I mean, wherever we go, oil and gas, oil and gas, no water. <laughs> This is why the price of water in Saudi Arabia is more expensive than the price of gas. You believe it? <laughs> Trust me, it's true. So, uh, <coughs> uh, being an Arab, by the way, it's a privilege. As an example, we do not need to learn, uh, read and write to understand anything. Uh, as an example, uh, I bought, uh, each time I buy something from Amazon, uh, and then I put it together, I found like there's 20 screws are not needed. But in the manual, it says they are needed. But who read the manual? Not us. We are. We don't read the manual. <laughs> and then like, like, okay, we put it together. Why those screws are still there? Like an Arab guy, if he took the engine of the car and he put the engine back, you know, he will find like 80, 70 screws are not needed. How? Don't ask me. He cannot find a place for them. I don't know how they, where they came from. We have no idea. So there is a benefit of being an Arab, you know. And I don't know if there's a benefit of uh, being obsessed with somebody else from different culture, different, uh, I don't know. Human being sometimes is weird. You have to be, you know, uh, uh, happy with your herit heritage. doesn't matter what it is. If you are from a poor country, love your country, uh, 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 you know, reject anything in your culture is bad. Hold and preserve anything in your culture is good. As simple as that. If you if you see as an example if you see the American they have a good culture in something follow it if they don't don't you know same if I go to Indonesia and I find Indonesian they have a nice thing nice culture something I like why not I would take it if it's good 
but if it's bad i will not so don't be a naive and don't be a person who for a fashion and i mean even even the hairstyle start changing people they use their fingers in a certain way they are copying and even when they sing in the stage you will see the guy holding his balls i mean what this balls is about i mean are you singing from your from your mouth or from your balls why you are holding your balls when you are singing because michael jackson did so hello excuse stupidity excuse my language you know i like to say it as it is so don't be stupid and don't do what they do just because you are blind and this is why by the way muslims they always use famous people to spread their cult because they knew how a human being is a stupid there's millions of people they follow blindly anyone he is an artist famous person doesn't matter what he do doesn't matter what they say he say they will copy uh I don't know. It's a crazy stuff. If you are a singer and you say something, then the whole world will copy your, uh, uh, you know, uh, your statement, and as if as 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 if you are God. And then, okay, let us say, you know, when the Muslim they converted someone like Muhammad Ali uh, to Islam. Did you ask yourself why they target this guy? They always try their best to target famous people because they knew the impact of famous people in the stupid, silly people. If you are silly and naive and you are empty from your side, inside, anything, anyone can impact you. So a famous person who is very, actually, most of those famous people, they are perverted people, literally, literally. They do everything evil in this earth. And most of them, they die in drugs. And then, if they say Islam is good, or they convert it to Islam, we, we, we make it a big deal because, oh, this guy, famous guy, became a Muslim. If you remember lately, there's a guy, his name what? West, he's a singer, West. And they said he converted to Christianity. He's the husband of this woman, uh, Kardashian. And it was really funny how in news they talk, converted to Christianity. This guy converted to Christianity. Are you sure? Secondly, let us see if this is true. Okay. Why it's important? Why, why this is important? You see, we, for us as a Christian, we should not do what the Muslim do. He is just a guy. He converted to Christianity. He don't convert to Christianity. Who care? This is between him and his Lord. For us, we do our part to deliver the message and the one. We don't use it for propaganda. Christ is not a propaganda. It's not for sale. It's not a commercial. So a famous person, he converted for me, uh, uh, helping a poor guy who don't have a computer, who live in a village in the middle of nowhere to accept the Christ, is more honorable act for me from someone he is famous. Because he's famous, he got all the tools. He got all the big screens and TVs and all the things, all the ways to, to receive the message why he did not receive it until now. But that poor guy who is in the middle of nowhere, he got nobody to help him. So let us not be the same as the Mohammedan, who they are a propaganda machine, but they are not even knowing they are doing propaganda to who? If we ask a Muslim who is Allah, he don't know. How Allah look like? They don't know. What Allah mean? They don't know. What Jibreel mean? They don't know. What Mikael mean? They don't know. Israel? They don't know. Ishmael? They don't know. Abraham? They don't know. Israel? They don't know. <laughs> they, they are people who have no knowledge of anything, but they are the one who want to bring you to a religion. They themselves, they do not know. But they depend on one thing that you are a fool you see a person who is doing a scam he cannot succeed unless you are a fool they need the fool so if you join the fool club they will be having fun with you right as long as you are a fool perfect this is why you will see Islam flourish between in a, in a, between foolish liberals who do you say uh, 
if you speak about against Islam, you are uh, uh, teaching hate. You ask the liberal, okay, why we are teaching hate if we speak against Islam? Uh, because you, are, this is hate. Uh, this is hate. Okay, well, hold on. So how come you liberals speak against Christianity and it's not hate? How come you liberals do you want to take the cross from a mountain? You want to take the cross from the grave? You want to take the Bible from the hotel? You want to take everything have to do with the Christianity from everywhere? And this is not hate a crime. But if we speak against Islam, which is violence, killing, destruction, and death, and and blood, and women right is is not exist, and human right is not exist, we are teaching hate. For those liberals are the perfect place for the germs to grow. And the germ in this case is the Quran. We are defend something they don't know what they are talking about. How somebody is a liberal, he defend the Quran, says beat your wife. This is a place where the German grow. Ignorance. I remember when uh, when uh, a, a bunch of uh, a feminine feminine uh, a group uh, they they made a strike or something in the San Francisco, I think. To support Islam. Have you ever heard of such a stupid thing? How you support such a cult? And you are a feminine a group. You support a religion that says beat women, as we see in chapter 4, verse number 34. You support religion that says stone women. You support religion that says marry many women, treat them as a bunch of goats. You support religion that says have sex with the children. So how those people, they are supporting women right in the same time they, they support the book of the devil, which is oppressing women. For they are ignorant. They met with some Muslims. They say to them, do you know that the prophet, he defend women right? Really? Yes, the prophet, he defend me right. Do you know that Aisha, she, was, she is number one resource for us for the religion? Really? Yeah, Aisha. Go and read what Aisha, she said. So their ignorance, their ignorance is the, the is the place of germs to grow. You see, if you don't uh, brush your teeth, this is a this is a, this is a territory of ignorance. You ignore that germs are exist and germs will destroy your teeth. So what do you do? Because if you're ignorant, you ignore it. So you don't brush your teeth, and then by time you will find that your teeth is coming off one by one. And this is what the liberals they do. They hate Christianity. That's it. Christianity is our enemy. Anything else is good. Anything else. So they support by their ignorance Islam. This is why you see liberals, atheists, generally speaking, they are totally in love with each other. You know, even though the Islam wanna kill every atheist, wanna destroy I mean if you say I am an atheist in Saudi Arabia, or you say you are a gay or a lesbian, what will happen to you? They will kill you immediately. So how in America you support a religion will kill you? That is where the germs grow, ignorance. And we have to fight ignorance, right? Now, do we have any question? You see, we, we laugh at Erdogan. We give, you, we give you some background about this guy. This guy is just a fraud. He say things he do the opposite um, and he is just a sponsored by the CIA and the only reason for him to be existent and now is the CIA so if you want if, if uh, you know I don't want to say this but if the CIA are not to exist how many countries in the Middle East will disappear hmm how many king will disappear uh-huh should I tell you okay hold it let me let me go back a little bit let us say this if CIA are not to exist how many countries in the Middle East they will lose their king or president? Let us count, shall we? <laughs> the first one will be gone, Shish Kebab, is Erdogan. This is their man, number one. The second one will go is the king of Jordan. Oh man, this is not only their puppy, this is their rabbit. The third one will go is the king of Saudi Arabia and his family for sure. The fourth will go is the prince of Qatar. The fifth will go is the prince and the family who ruled Emirate. 
and then not to mention the king of Oman and not to forget uh, uh, you know I don't know what to say about this but we have to go there Morocco the king of Morocco those are the first to collapse if the CIA are not to support them those countries actually they all exist because of the CIA you know uh, their their uh, their uh, I mean their government their reform uh, their their support logistic support money support uh, arm support all kind of support you see Saudi Arabia is a rich country right but the fact even Saudi Arabia without USA will collapse immediately the only thing is forming this country to be a country is USA and let me explain to you you see Saudi Arabia is not one nation when we say the word Arab you know when people they say Arab they think Arab is an ethnic Arab is not an ethnic there's nothing is called Arab as an example I am an Arab but we are not an ethnic how we can explain that as an example you know you know what let me let me find uh, let me try to find you something hold on give me a second I'm trying to find a map. All right. <clears throat> maybe, maybe this one will work. This is Saudi Arabia in the maps of ethnic. <laughs> you will believe it this is Saudi Arabia if we go back and see who is those who they call them Saudi today so Saudi Arabia is not is a country never exist there's nothing is called Saudi this is why they call it Saudi Arabia for the this is the name of the king I mean do you believe it the country have the name of the king because why because there is no country was exist those are what you see in the colors are tribe those tribes each one of them they are not they have nothing to do with each other they are not relatives they are not family they are not one nation so each one of them have their own control land and if the royal family of Saudi Arabia which is made royal by the British intelligent one day and then the CIA took over what will happen that those tribes will take over again and the country will collapse and will become countries do you understand so uh, and add to that there's Shia and there's Sunni and they hate each other and they want to kill each other and the only reason actually did you ask yourself why Saudi Arabia have a very small tiny uh, population because always they kill each other oh, yeah. always So it's just the CIA is keeping the country together. Take the royal family, this country will split to many countries. The same as Turkey. You see, who is keeping Turkey as Turkey today? The CIA. So if the CIA decide to say, okay, Turkey, no support to you no more, no money, no army, no weapon, because the, the Turkish lira can collapse in a second. It's just one tweet. Imagine how weak it's, it, it is this uh, the currency that a tweet of Trump can destroy the lira. Tweet, a tweet. Do you see how, how, how weak the country is? This is telling you that this country is nothing. It's, it's, a, it's like an empty, empty balloon. If a guy from different country have nothing to do with the country, he make a tweet, make your economy collapse. So what kind of economy you have? So if the CIA stop you know, supporting Turkey, Turkey will collapse because there is a lot of ethnic inside Turkey. There's nothing that's called really Turkish. There's Kurdish, there's Armenian, there's Assyrian, there's Syrian, there's actually most of Turkey, half of Turkey is belong to Syria. Half of Turkey belong to Syria. The other half belong to Greece. The other be half be be belong to Armenia and Azerbaijan and Georgia. Nothing will be left. 
So it's just a matter of time, I believe, this country is going to be stained. It is the decision is in the hand of the one in the White House. The one in the White House, he can destroy this country as he wish when he want. All right. Anyway, so uh, those countries are exist for a reason, as I said, and the one who made them exist is the Western government. What will happen if a black people in Saudi Arabia? There's no black people in Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia have a little tiny population of black people. Those who used to be slaves uh, uh, before, you know, long time ago. And they are not citizens. I mean, now they are citizens. I mean, they are not from there. They are from Africa. All right. There's no black Saudi. Those are brought as a slave. The same as the poor African kidnapped from their country brought to Europe or to America. So the Arab are not black people and they have nothing to do with them. So uh, th there is little tiny population. Greece territory, all of this is belong to Greece. Greece should be all the way to the border of Syria. This is Greece. Istanbul is not their land. This is when the Muslims, not long time ago, I mean, the funny Erdogan speak about occupation, but he himself, he live in a land, all of it is occupation. The people of Erdogan, they came all the way from the land of Jankiz Khan. They have nothing to do with this land. They don't belong here. So the whole country is called Turkey is not for those, this, this, the, the, the Turkish. This is, does not belong to them. The whole country is occupation. All right. Have you been in Saudi Arabia? I have been everywhere. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> and if you if you you know if you live ever in Saudi Arabia or if you are if you are a Saudi, I don't know if there's any of you Saudi. You knew what I'm talking about. Saudi, all all the richness they have still is a very poor country in everything. You see, like uh, most of Saudi Arabia don't have even until now a sewage. As an example, if you go to Mecca, when the flood come to Mecca, little flood, little rain, all the poopoo which is in hold in a in a septic uh, uh, tank it's like a hole in the ground you know so when little rain happen all the poopoo -poo will go all of it to the Kaaba why because the country until now does not have a sewage all right if you remember I showed you before <clears throat> Okay. You remember those images we showed you before? This is the Kaaba. All the sewage, all the bad water will come to the Kaaba. And now supposedly they work in a solution to divert the water, the sewage water from the coming to the Kaaba. But I, th I don't think still it's it's uh, successful. Still a lot of water is coming. Uh, it's a very bad location, by the way, the Mecca. It's a, like because they build it in the bottom of the of, uh, of little hills around it, you know. So when little rain happen, not much rain, things go in chaos, you know. As you see, actually, I wish I can show you videos. You would die laughing, you know. I mean, all the money until now they cannot stop little rain. Allah cannot help them. No, the one who can help them only the American uh, and the British, you know, the only one who can give help. Allah cannot provide any help, what he can do. So little little rain, you will see all of Mecca is covered by water and you will see cars are walking with the water, you know. I mean, look, I don't know if you can see in the images, let me zoom in. This is a, this is not like, this is not uh, an old picture, this is new, you know, as you see cars and etc. So those countries, doesn't matter how much money they have, you see, the royal family, they have money to invest to buy a stadium in England, a sport team in Spain. If you go to Europe right now, most of the sport teams are owned by Arab. And this is one of the reasons, actually, you should not support this kind of sport because this is not a support no more. This, this is not sport no more. This is a business, number one. Secondly, how this team is, is a Spanish team, but it's owned by an Arab. I mean, how that work? 
And then they say to you, like, uh, uh, when you play football, France against Germany. But you look at the team of the German and the team of the French, you find no French and no German. All of them, they are important from somewhere. You know what I mean? It's just, it's just a foolish... Uh, so I encourage everybody not even to support what is called football. It's a, it's a fifth, it's a, it's, a, it's a gang, it's a mafia. Uh, it, the point is just any, anything will make money for, for mafia, they control it. Anything will control the mind of a human being, they will control it. And football is one of it. So if you look at the football today, it is nothing but a mafia business. And you are the victim. They fool you, they say to you, there is a game between this team and this team. But there is no team in the team. It's not Germany versus Brazil. Because simply there is no German in the German team. And there is no French in the French team. And there is no Saudi in the Saudi team. And there's no, I mean, the team is from everywhere. And they, they call them, they call them German the team. Well, what is the German team? Anyway. <clears throat> Somebody saying, I know a Palestinian Christian who do hate David Wood. Uh, he says they are Islamophobe. Shouldn't Christians support David, etc. Okay, my friend. If somebody, he claimed to be Christian and you call him Palestinian, which, why you don't ask him, what is your country? Where is your country? And what happened to your grand, 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 grandfather? And who is the one who took over your country? So those are, you know, if you, if maybe what happened, if you live between, uh, let us say, you are a Christian kid who grew in the Middle East. What school you will get? Arab, Arab Muslim school. What education you will get? Muslim education. So if you are not smart enough to study and research yourself, you will be just a copy as any Muslim. As an example, I remember, uh, you know, when I was in school in the Middle East, the teacher kept talking about the Jews, they took our land, the Jews, they took our land, you know, the same hate speech. So I asked him, sir, who is the one who built the city of Jerusalem? He said, according to historian and Islamic historian, it was an Islam, it was David and Suleiman. <laughs> so I laugh and I said so the land this is the land then he said sit down sit down sit down you always like that sit down so it's their land I just asked the teacher he said the one who built the city is David and by the way his information is stupid anyway but this is what they believe so how you are saying to me they have no right to be there and you yourself you believe that the one who built the city is those guys isn't it David the king of the Jews isn't it Solomon, the king of the Jews? So if you are a Christian kid and you grow up in the Middle East, it's very much likely you will be brainwashed by what you hear. So don't blame him. Blame his family, his church. The cowards who did not teach him the truth. There's always there's a coward there who did not dare to say the truth to the child. Even the Quran confirmed that the land is the land of the Jews. And if we are being called uh, Islamophobic for exposing Islam, they can call us whatever they want. How come the Muslim they call us pigs, monkeys, and they are not called Christophobic? So Muslim can call me pig, can call me monkey, can call me najis, which means filthy, dirty. They can call kuffar, they can call me... Uh, 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 a pagan they can call me all the names and yet if I say no I'm not you are a liar that will make me Islamophobic eh. this is the Quran chapter 5 verse number 21 says that this land is the land of the Jews here we go Allah says to Musa oh my he told Musa to tell his people oh my people go into the holy land which Allah has ordered to you you see it Do you see it? So even the Quran says this is the land of the Jews. Do you know that the Quran never mentioned the word Palestine? Why? Because Muhammad is, is, is Muhammad himself is the same as Erdogan. You see Erdogan? Erdogan is the puppy of Israel. And when he got bigger, he bite them. Muhammad is exactly the same. Muhammad was a puppy of the Jews until he was strong and then he killed them. 
So when Muhammad was in the process of being a puppy, he agreed with the Jews. This is your land. It's Allah assigned for you. Allah told me that. Go and take it. It's read it. The Quran saying that Allah told Muhammad that he told Moses that this is the land belong to the Jews. Right? Is it true that Illuminati has been controlling the world? I don't know what you are talking about, my friend. Don't go by fiction stories. Don't watch too much cartoon. So, even the Quran confirmed that this is the land of the Jews, and Allah, He punished the Jews 40 years to be lost in the desert, for they refused to kill the Palestinians. Read it. He told them, let us go and attack. They told him, we are not going to attack. From all the Jews, only two, Mus two Jewish Muslims, two Jewish Muslims here, you know, listen carefully, Muslims, two Jewish, they decide to do jihad with Moses, only two. The Quran says that. I mean, look how funny this story. Moses, he got only two Jewish to join him to go to Palestine, brother. Only two. Are you sure? <laughs> and then they told him, no, we will not enter it and we will not attack the gate. What gate? Huh? Mm -hmm. The guys, they said to Moses, yeah, let us go and do jihad and attack them in the gate. What gate? What, what gate, you idiot? And we will be victorious. I mean, look at this. Look at stupid story. Moses and two guys will be victorious against an army. True story. Must be a true story. I mean, come on. Okay. And then they said, oh, Moses, the, this is the Jews now, the, 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 the left of the Jews. Only two Jews agree with Moses. The rest, they don't want to do jihad. They said, oh, Moses, we never enter the land. Huh? As long as they are there. If they leave, we will, leave, we will, we will go. Okay. What happened to Allah now? Which means, uh, you know, the Jews refuse to kill the Palestinians. You Muslim, don't you say that the Palestinian is the one who owned the land? Which I find very funny. So Allah, this is this, I'm, I'm quoting the story according to your God. The God of the falafel. So if you don't enter the land, Allah will upset from you. Look what happened. They say, he said, oh my Lord, I have control of none. And Musa, he went to Allah to complain. They don't, they don't want to fight with me. Uh, Allah he said to them so Allah he said for this is the land will surely be forbidden for them for 40 years that they will wander on earth okay so Allah he forbid the Jews to enter the holy land for 40 years because they refused to kill the Palestinian uh, Fairuz is saying uh, let me show you Fairuz question I like your question, Farouz. Honestly, you are the smartest Muslim between all the Abdul. Uh, he's saying, please tell me how Islam fastest to grow in religion if it is false. My friend, first of all, Islam is the fastest dying religion. If you are talking about population, population doesn't count because even your prophet, he says, Islam is taught as a strange religion and will end as a strange, which means nobody believe in it. And the proof is so clear. Do you listen to music, uh, Farouz? If you listen to music, you are going to go to hell, according to Muhammad. If you wear jeans, you will go to hell. If you wear sport shoes, you will go to hell. Do you drive car? You will go to hell. You're a prophet, he says, the one who do what the kuffar do, he is one of them. As simple as that. So, all of you Muslims, you don't practice Islam. Look, let me show you what your prophet said about the Muslims. Who is the Muslims for Muhammad? Unless you want to say to me, Muhammad is a liar, then I have to agree. What I can say. As I know, like even at Jazeera, they were making a program a few years ago about 16,000 Muslims leaving Islam a day. A day, not a year. A day. So where is where is the fastest growing religion? If you're talking about population, that even against you, not, not for good and for your good, because you don't have food to feed them. This is why every single Muslim want to immigrate to Europe. So what is population will do for you? Now, if we go here, we will see what your prophet said about the end of Islam. <clears throat> uh, 
Let us see. I will find you, unless you want to say your prophet is a liar. That's... Eh. According to your prophet, nobody will do Hajj no more. Nobody will do Hajj, which means not a single Muslim will be exist. <clears throat> okay, let's see. I just tried to find the hadith in English. Here we go. Guys, read with me what Muhammad he said about the fastest Roman religion. Yahya related from Malik, from Ibn etc. Blah 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 blah. From blah 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 blah. From blah 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 blah. From the Messenger. May Allah pray on him, not uh, for him, not to him. He said that Muhammad said the Medina will be left in the best way that it is until a dog or a wolf enter it and urinate on one of the pillars of the mosque or in the member they asked the messenger who will leave the fruit of that time he replied animals seeking food breads and wild beasts now the hadith doesn't make sense stupid you know but what muhammad is saying that the Medina and Mecca, and I will show you the other hadith about Mecca too, uh, that time will come and nobody will go there because no Muslim left. To the point every dog will piss in the most holy location for the Muslims. Do you see it, Pharaohs? Are you there, Pharaohs? So if you are saying to me your prophet is a liar, ah, I agree with you. Member is uh, where you st stand up like, you know, the Muslims, they learn from the Christians. They copy from the Christian churches in the Middle East. So in the Christian churches, there is like little stairs. You go and stand in the, in the top. So when the priest, he speak, people, they can see him when he talk. You know, at that time, there's no microphone, speaker, etc. So... The Muslim they copy from the Christians, the member. This is what exists in our churches when they converted to mosque after the occupation. So Muhammad saying it clear that this is oh, absolutely this is Sahih. Why not Sahih? Why why not Sahih, my friend? Anything they don't like is Sahih is not Sahih. Hmm? But anyway, anything is embarrassing, they will say is not Sahih. If you remember, there's a hadith where dogs uh, used to enter the mosque in the time of Muhammad, which is very funny. I find funny. I mean, Muhammad saying that time will come and dogs and beasts will piss all over Mecca and Med sorry, Medina here in this hadith. But dogs they used to do that in his time and he do nothing about it. Even people they go inside the mosque and they piss in the middle of the mosque and he was watching. Let us show you the other hadith. There <clears throat> uh, we go. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. My father said that during the lifetime of Allah Apostle, the dogs used to urinate and pass through the mosque. Come and go. Nevertheless, they never use a sprinkle of water on it. Do you see it? This is Sahih al-Bukhari. Do you see it? Dogs. Dogs go inside the mosque, Muslim praying, and Muhammad praying, and nobody even clean after that. 
And this is telling you about the quality of those who follow Muhammad. I mean, what kind of what kind of mosque this mosque is? But for sure, the Muslim they will say to you, "This is Dai, but this is Sahir Bukhari. How Dai? Sahir Bukhari. Do you see? It says Sahir Bukhari." Uh, Emmanuel Michael, you speak six Do you speak Korean? Chinese? Okay, my friend. Emmanuel, contact me in uh, in uh, Patreon, please. I I I need somebody to add subtitle to videos. Can you do that? It would take some work from you, but you can choose some important videos. If you speak Chinese, that would be wonderful. If you speak actually, if you speak Chinese, I will make a Chinese page in YouTube. I will create a Chinese page myself. So if you can download, if you can download some of my videos, Emmanuel, and, and and translate to Chinese, and anyone will help with you, he's welcome. We can make a Chinese page where everybody can download from it. It doesn't say that CP. I agree. Uh, I must agree with you. Uh, did you find Jesus in paradise? I will call you as Chipeta Abbas. Abbas, do you remember Abbas? He challenged me to find Jesus. And Abbas, what about we pray? We pray. We play the uh, the video about you. Anyone, anyone have the video where Abbas he called me because I deleted the videos. Anyone have it? So we can play and laugh at Abbas when he said to me, "Show me where it says that Jesus in Jannah." Hadith is made by a human. Well, the Quran is made by human. Is it the Quran you are reading? Is the Quran of Uthman? Hmm? And uh, uh, Abbas, Abbas, hold on, Abbas, I want you to call me. Just for a laugh. Guys, do you like to have fun with Abbas? Hold on. <clears throat> Give me a second. Abbas, Abbas, Abbas. Give me a second, guys. <clears throat> All right, sorry guys, I got to say something. Abbas, you want to call me Abbas? I'm sure people, they will be, we need some entertainment for this morning. Okay, Abbas. I am in Skype, Abbas. Call me, Abbas. Are you there, Abbas? Okay, let me search for him. All right, let's call Abbas just for a laugh. Hmm. 
Abbas, are you online? What happened to you, Abbas? Huh. Abbas is not online. He wanna call me, but he's not online. Abbas is not online. Brave Abbas. Farouz, ah, Farouz is saying to me, "Stop fake. Stop calling fake Muslim. Are you, are you a fake, are you a fake Muslim, Farouz?" Okay, let us call Farouz, as long as Abbas is a fake Muslim. <clears throat> Answer Farouz. You ask for it. Answer uh, Farouz. Hey Farouz, you are the real Muslim supposedly? Hello? Hello, hello Farouz, are you the real Muslim? Yes, I'm a Muslim. No, are you I'm real Muslim? Uh... Are you real Muslim? Are you real Muslim? What do you mean, I'm, are you real Muslim? Okay, do you beat your wife? No. Why you don't beat your wife? Uh, no, the, the question is, uh, if you are a real Muslim, don't you follow the Quran? The Quran says to beat your wife. Do you beat your wife? I, I, I know that word. Uh, hello? Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Hello, are you going to spend the whole day saying to me, hi, hello, we got it, hello, I'm asking you, do you beat your wife? The Quran says in chapter 4, verse 34, beat your wife. Are you a real Muslim? Are you willing to follow the Quran? If your wife, you ask her to make some coffee for you, and she said no, are you willing to beat her and follow Allah? Don't say to me, can I, can don't I, say to me, can I, can don't I, say to me hello again. Don't say to me hello, do you hear me? I hear you and there's no need for more hello. Now answer, do you beat your wife can as the Quran said? Can I give you a Bible verse? You can, you can give me anything you want. You are a Muslim. You don't follow the Bible. You follow the Quran. So do you change your religion now? No, no. No, no. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to play the same game like you. No problem. You can, yes. play with it. you can play any game you wish. First answer the question. Do you follow Muhammad and beat your wife? Yes or no? No, I, I don't uh, beat my wife. So, so no, are you no, saying are you are wife. you saying hold on are you saying beating your wife is wrong? Wait 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 let wait 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 let me give you a word. Wait, 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 wait. No, are you saying beating your wife is wrong? Um, yes, it is wrong. Okay, so why no, Allah allow no. you to so why Allah allow you to beat your wife as long as it's wrong? I can, I can give you the same verse from No, you cannot give me the same verse. No, no, no. There's no same verse in the Bible says you can beat your wife. You are a liar. And I challenge you. But before you go anywhere, answer me. You just said, everybody heard you, that beating the wife is wrong. And I agree with you. That means Allah is not a God. You just said Allah is wrong. Everybody heard you. And you are the one who claimed that you are the real Muslim. I'm, I'm a Muslim. Okay, but you just say beating wife is wrong. Everybody heard you. Does it say in the Quran that beat your wife if you fear their rebellion? It says that. Is there, is, is there a verse in Bible where it says kill women and children? Oh, here we go. Here we change. This is in the time. This is war time, my friend. This is war time. What, what does it have to do with the wife? What does it have to do with the wife? Uh -huh. Answer. You just said you admitted that beating wife is wrong. Allah is teaching you wrong. Is it wrong or not? It is wrong. Uh, the thing is that uh, women, women 
also do a lot of mistakes, right? Like so, men, okay, men, but you men, said already you agreed. We do not need to discuss it. You agreed that women are beating women is wrong. So why Allah He says to do wrong if if beating women is wrong? What kind of God He teach you wrong? And you are the one who says wrong. Hello, 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 yeah, hello, hello, yeah, I got some, uh, some thought, hello, uh, hello, uh, do you hear me, hello, hello, uh, how many times you said to me, hello, how are, so, all this time you are, exp you know, like, don't recall Muslim, fake Muslims, I, so supposedly you are the real Muslim, and in two seconds we discover you are not a real Muslim, you don't, you are not willing to follow the Quran, what kind of a real Muslim, he is not following his God teaching, and he says strong, you, you and, you and me, we, we both agree in Bible and in Bible. No, I agree with the Bible. No, I agree with the Bible. I agree with the Bible. It's you who don't agree. I just showed you a verse. It says you don't agree with it. You are the one who don't agree. Well, I, say, I, 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 I never said I don't agree. You, you just say that right. beating women is wrong. You just say beating women are wrong. And the Quran says beat your wife. So you just admitted that Quran is wrong. Hello, okay, get lost, man. Hello, hi. You spend the whole day, hello, because he have nothing to say. Hello, hi. Hello, hello, yeah, hello, uh, uh, hello. Stupid idiot. What is Abbas? Abbas is better than you. At least Abbas, he, he say only hello once. Let us call Abbas again. Abbas, are you dry? are you there, Abbas? That is the real comedy, you know. And the funny. When I, they say to me, you are, you call only stupid Muslims. Okay, where is the smart one? Where, is it my fault? Abbas is not online. Abbas, Abbas now is online. Hold on. <coughs> Hello? Hey, Abbas, how are you? Are you driving? Yes. <laughs> How I know I must be a prophet of Allah, brother. So Abbas, do you want to tell me? What's you, wrong with driving? I drive. I drive for Uber. So what's wrong with driving? No, I'm, I'm not I'm, saying anything. But you, you always, you, you, always you, you make it. No, driving? no, I'm not saying that. I'm saying always you use that as an excuse not to answer me. Oh, I remember last time I was driving while I was talking to you, and you hang up. Uh, on okay, me. because you're a stupid. Me. Because you're a stupid. You say to me. That okay. Repeat to us what what was your challenge? Repeat the challenge. No, no, no. You you're breaking up. You're breaking up. Here we go. Breaking I'm driving up. now. Okay, I'm breaking up. Repeat to us what the challenge you made to me last time. Yeah, the last time uh, we were talking about that. Uh, you says um, I'll show you that Jesus is in paradise, and you show me the hadith. Mm -hmm. That Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, when he went to the paradise on the night journey, okay. uh, when he went to all heaven, heaven and paradise all together, when he went, mm -hmm. he met Jesus on the second heaven. All right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now you're reading the hadith, but you didn't give me the chance to answer you. Okay. I love to see you to put mm -hmm. that hadith on the screen, uh -huh. and let's go on with that hadith. Okay. Can you do that. Okay. Where is, where is the paradise located? Don't ask me a question. Can you put the hadith? So which we hadith? analyze the hadith. Which, the hadith, which hadith you want? Sorry? Which hadith? About the one I showed you last time? The hadith you showed me last time. All right. And we want to go through that hadith. All right. To prove my point that okay. Jesus was not in paradise. Hmm. He was in the heaven. I know you may laugh and you think heaven and a paradise is the same. Okay. But we will you see. read the hadith. Okay. The hadith <laughs> back me. And you are the one who <laughs> bring that hadith. All right. I like to see that. Okay, 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 here, okay, here, okay, here, okay, here we go. This is the hadith in front of us on the screen. <laughs> Park your car in the side so you can read and you don't make an accident. Yeah, one second. I just um... no, no, it's updating, updating. Um, the screen is updating. Yeah, park, uh, but pa park your car so you will be safe. We don't want you to have an accident. Just read it. Okay. Um, hmm. <laughs> my car is parked. Yes. Okay, um, perfect. It's not showing anything on the, it's, it's the Quranic verse. All Wait, right. One second. It says here, okay, Just when Muhammad, he went to the seven, the, the, to the sky, to the I was heaven. I 
you just the way you ran last time. I hmm. thought probably you realized your mistake, so you ran. Let us see who. But if you didn't realize okay, it, then we, I will we will see. Your but right before, now, before, sure. before, before, you know, I want it's, you to make, I want you to make it clear. Uh, Abbas. Why, 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 why is up, why, why is no problem, Abbas, Abbas. Before we, Abbas. Shut up for a second, man. I okay. want you to make it Let clear. I want you to make it a clear your claim. I want your clear your claim to be clear. So you later you will not say I did not say that. I did not mean that. Make it clear. I'm listening. I said that Jesus was not in paradise. You say I'll show you the hadith and the hadith proves your point hmm. and that Jesus is in paradise. Okay. Yes, that's what you said. Okay. okay. Where now, where was is, where where was Jesus you. according I'll, to you? No, make it clear. Where was Jesus according to you? Sorry? Where was Jesus according Are you to you? Away from us, Where was Jesus according let, to you? Let me finish this hadith. No, no, no. Before we go to the hadith, make, it, make the claim don't, clear. We will read the hadith. No, 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 no. I have to make it clear because you are a sneaky person. You try to say I did not say that. So why you will what you will lose? Make it clear. Where Jesus was located in the in the heaven? Where he was located? For the third time, I made my point. No, you did not. I want you to tell me he was located where? Where he was located and where he was not located. Guys, he realized his error and now he's running from me. No, okay, you I'm are just asking you to, witness. you see, you are stupid now. You, I'm asking you to make it clear. That's all. I'm asking you to talk more. Tell us more where Jesus is located. For the third time, I'm saying that Jesus was not in paradise. What, what? Where in heaven? Allah, we don't know where in heaven, but I'll prove it to you. He was not in paradise. Okay, what is paradise heaven for you? Hold on. Place. And what is, pra heaven what heaven is paradise heaven. for you? What is, is what is, par is, what is paradise? Guys, you see what he's doing? No, we want to know what is paradise. We want to know. No, 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 no. You, you see what I'm doing? I'm, I'm putting you in the corner. No, we need to know. You said he is not in paradise. That's mean you know what is paradise. What, what is paradise? Telling us that he's not in paradise. No, no, no. Tell I'm me where he teaching. was. No, 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 no. I want you to tell, tell me where is paradise. When you say paradise, what is paradise? So you're not going to let me read the hadith. I want you to read the hadith, but first tell me what is paradise because the holy claim is based on this. He is not in paradise. Hadith. So I'm asking you, where is paradise? Hadith. Hadith will. No, no, no. Okay, give me. Okay, give me. No, give me the summary before we read. We'll read the hadith. I promise you. I promise in front of everybody. We'll read the whole hadith. I want you to tell me where is paradise. Where is paradise? I, I would be the biggest. Believe in your promises. You play with words all the Abdul, time. So Ab Abdul, coming. Abdul, potato. I, I feel know. sorry for your wife, man. What, what kind of a man you are? Why you don't make it simple? Tell me where is paradise. You say Jesus is not in paradise. Okay, tell us where is paradise. If you are a man enough, you're a man enough to give me two minutes to make my point, then you can ask me many Go questions. ahead. I'm keep repeating so the same question. Right. I will give you 10 two minutes. minutes. Here we go. I'm going questions. to go to the kitchen. You speak as much as you want, but I want you, you to tell me. I want you to tell me what is paradise. I'm not going to oh. talk. No, go. What is paradise? The hadith is telling us. That the, no the problem. Paradise. No problem. What the hadith told you. Tell you me what paradise. Hadith. Tell me where is paradise. Where is paradise? Paradise, if you look up the sky, is towards the right about uh, 20, uh, like like 2 o'clock, you know? 2 o'clock, you just go straight and then you turn left and there will be a person standing there. He will he will guide you to the arrow and the, uh, you follow the arrow, that's paradise. What, the, what kind of nonsense? You, are, make, you are making fun, of, you are making fun of your prophet right now. So if we follow that arrow, we will find Muhammad there. Now. Okay, so are you going to answer as a man or as a child? Where is paradise? Because you are saying Jesus is not in paradise. So where is paradise? So you're not going to give me a chance to speak. I'm asking you, you man, you idiot. What's wrong with you? This is, I'm, I, 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 guys, I am not giving him a chance. I am giving you all the chance. I will give you 10 minutes to tell us where is paradise. Here we go. I'm not going to talk unless you change the topic. Where is paradise? Where is paradise? No, because, I, because when I get you busted, you will say, I did not say that. I know you. This is why you I'm asking you. You keep saying that. You no, you coward. Me. No, you potato. Oh, no, you coward. No, no, you question, coward. No, you, okay. Tell us where is paradise. Okay, guys, why he don't tell us where paradise? Are you saying you do not know where it is? I already told you I don't know where it is. I don't know where paradise. So how do you know Jesus was not there, uh, guys? He do not. He do not know where is paradise, but he knew that Jesus was not in paradise. <laughs> Hadith is telling us. 
The hadith is saying, okay, okay, tell me what the hadith says. That what is paradise? You, you, you just said, you just, you, you stupid idiot. You just said, you just said, you do not know where paradise is. And now you are saying to us, the hadith will tell us where paradise is. Are you stupid or what? The answer to your question is, I don't know the location of where the paradise is. I, I'm not asking you location. Hadith, Abdul, there's no paradise hadith just hadith at all. Uh, this is not the question. The question, according to Islam, according to your prophet, where is paradise because you said jesus was not and he is not in paradise okay based on what you decide that jesus is not in paradise this is the question because that means you know what is paradise otherwise how you know that jesus was not in the paradise you, 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 you see this is what you do you play with words you why are you not giving me a chance to speak what are you afraid of why you are not going to answer why are you afraid of Am I going to answer the way you want me to answer? No, way? because this is the whole let's challenge is about where is paradise because you are saying Jesus. Okay, let us say. Okay, hold on, hold on. If I say Abbas in this house, okay? And then you say to me, this uh, this house is not paradise. Okay, that's mean you know where is paradise. So where is paradise? The question, basic question is, I said Jesus is not in paradise. Paradise. Okay, you that's, is, but that's mean. But that's mean. You know. That's mean. You know. Muhammad, that's mean. You, Muhammad, okay. That's mean. Jesus, that's mean. Jesus was. He didn't Ab meet him in the paradise. Abdul. But that's mean. Uh, that's mean. You know where is paradise? Do you know? In order to say Jesus was not in paradise, then you should know have information about paradise. Correct. Okay. Let me make my point and let people judge. No, no, no. Uh, you, will will you, you will make your so point. You will make your point. What, so you what is the formation? Talk, okay? No, before you talk, because later you will say you did not say that. I know you. You are a coward, as your prophet. Now, what is no, paradise? No, what do you know? You, what do you, you know about? You can expose me what, on that. what do you know what about paradise? Say, tell us what is paradise. What tell us what is paradise before yeah. you tell us Jesus is not in paradise. Yeah. What is paradise? Okay. If you if you're asking about the location of the paradise, I don't know, but I know for sure. Okay. What is paradise? Okay, where is where paradise? Okay, where is paradise? Where is paradise? Where? Is para where? Okay, no paradise. problem. What? what I'm okay, no problem. What is paradise? What is paradise? Oh, I see. What is paradise? Um, guys, please read this hadith yourself. This coward is never going to give me a chance. See the coward. See the coward. So the coward, you are liar. Then you do not know anything about paradise. But you are saying Jesus is not in paradise. Do you know anything about paradise? You keep asking me. You keep asking me question after question, but you're not letting me. No, I'm not asking you a question Why? because this is the topic is about paradise. You are saying Jesus is not in paradise. Last chance for the coward prince. You, you are the coward son of Muta. You are the coward son of Muta and you have no dignity. This is a proof to me that you are son of Muta, man. Because if you are a man, you will keep tell us, uh, tell us your knowledge, share your knowledge. What do you know about paradise? You don't know anything. Calling people names doesn't make you. I'm not calling right. you names. No. Your prophet, he ordered you no, to so be a son of Muta. Listen, I, you are, you are, you are a coward. Like you call you. me, you, you, call? you call me to give me an answer. Oh, what I I'm asking know. you, you are saying Jesus is not in paradise. Okay, what is paradise? What? To be, to know, be sure that Jesus is not in paradise. Do you know where paradise is? You said, I do not know the location. <laughs> so how do you know that this is not <laughs> paradise? <laughs> And let me remind people that you bring this hadith to prove me that Jesus was in paradise. Yes, my friend, I am proving you to you. To prove I'm, I'm proving. I'm, I'm proving that you are a donkey. This is what I prove. Now I'm not going to talk no more. Read the hadith. Read the hadith. And read the hadith. Read the read, read the hadith and let us laugh. Okay, go go. You will say you say this hadith will prove to us that Jesus is not in paradise. Okay, go ahead. Tell us. I'm listening. I give up my question. Inshallah, Alhamdulillah. Okay. Inshallah. You give me a chance, Mashallah. No, no, you didn't give up your question. Your question was, was not relative to that. Anyway, ah, now okay. this hadith tells us that Muhammad Sassan went on the night, night journey. Let me speak now, please. Hmm. So he went on a night journey and he met many different prophets and then he met Jesus on the second heaven. Hmm. Then hadith carried on, carried on. I want you to bring it to the end of the hadith, please. Can you bring to the hadith to the end okay. to make my point? All right. Because hadith is very long. It will take long, 10 minutes to maybe read it. Then, okay. And Muhammad Sassan met Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he gave him, Moses told him, no go back, can ask for less and less, in the end he become five salah. Mm -hmm. Can you go to the right of the end of this hadith please? I can't even see the end of this hadith. The end? Okay, here we go. So this, all this... people can see what I'm, I'm trying to say here. Okay, this is the end. So Thank after you. all that, <coughs> can you go to the end of the hadith please? This is the end, okay. Can you roll down? Mm. See, can you roll, roll hadith down? Okay, I went, I went, I went, okay. 
basically last four or five lines will mm. tell us. Okay. So he went to the heaven, he went to Siddhartha Muntaha, he, above the heaven, he, he met Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then in the end, what happened in the end? Oh, here it is. Um, hmm. Obligatory prayer. Two vessels were brought to me from the Now this is not the same hadith. This is not the same hadith. What hadith? I'll bring the hadith. Because this is not the same hadith. This is not the same hadith? What hadith do you want? This is not the same. This okay. is not the same as this. This okay. is not the same as this was you showed this is me last time. This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Muslim. This is Sahih Muslim. And this no, is Sahih no, no, Muslim. No, no, we talk about the same. Okay. No, I'll give you. I'll give you this. Um, no, no. Um, there are hadiths. There are many different narratives of, of the hadiths. Oh, okay. Okay. Give me I'm the one. Sure give me the one you want. Yeah, Which one? Yeah. Is it Sahih? Is it Sahih Muslim? I'm it, not saying it's wrong hadith. I'm not but saying wrong. I'm saying is it Sahih hadith? Muslim? Okay. The hadith you are talking about, the one I showed you, is it Sahih Muslim? time you show me yeah, i'm not rejecting the hadith oh yeah this because is not the question you idiot stop at, at like i'm asking you okay is it sahih muslim the hadith you accept the, the one to show you the one you like is it sahih muslim okay now yes i'm going to say muslim yeah. okay this is the second one in sahih muslim is that the one you want is this okay. the is this the one you, okay is this is it the, is that the, the, the one you want? Okay, is that the one you want? Sahih Muslim. I'm reading the I'm reading the hadith for you for the benefit of all people. Sahih Bukhari, hadith number three hundred forty. Uh, Al Bukhari, this is Al Bukhari. Okay. Hold on, hold on. No. Let us open Al Bukhari. Hold on. Let us find Al Bukhari. Let us find Al Bukhari. Okay. Uh, okay. Sahih Bukhari, hadith number three hundred forty nine. Book eight, hadith number one. Hadith number. Same thing mentioned that he, he hadith number one. Hadith Same number one. Same thing mentioned that he, he met. Adam, Idris, Moses, Jesus, and Abraham uh, uh, in the second heaven. Okay. The same hadith. And then the hadith carried on. Sahih al-Bukhari, yeah. hadith number one. Okay. Sahih al-Bukhari, book number eight. Uh, hadith number one. Or international number is 349. Hadith number 349. Do you want to put it in the screen or do you want me to read from my... Uh, hold on. No, no, no. I'll put it in the phone. screen so everybody can, can see. Book number eight. Book number yes. eight. Book... Hadith number one. Eight. Hadith... One, hold on. Number one. Yes. Give us a second. It's the same story you mentioned. No problem. Okay. Went to no problem, my friend. No problem. Let's, let's, let's see it. So we can see what are you talking about. Stop, stop calling me a friend. You stop calling me a friend. You're going against the Bible. Don't call me a friend. I'm not <laughs> coming with the same teaching. You are not my friend. You are my joker. Uh, here we go. Uh, okay, uh, so you're hypocrite. Okay, here we go. This is the hadith you are uh, talking about. Hold on. Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on. Uh, And this oh, is not this, and, and, the, and this is not the, and this is not the hadith I showed you last time because this is not the hadith. Here we go. This is the hadith you are mentioning. Go ahead. Okay. okay. Now what the same, you want? same story is same. He went up to the heaven. Okay. And if you read the hadith, he, he met Jesus, mm -hmm. but uh, in the second heaven with the uh, with the Moses and everybody. Go to the end of this hadith, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, the end. Okay. All right. I don't see it anything in the screen. Hmm. Keep going down. Okay. Right to the end. Okay. Okay. Uh, keep, keep going down. Keep going down. Keep going down. I am at keep the end. Keep going down. I am at the end. There's no more. more so he met, uh, no more down. No, no down. Go down. Yeah. I am more. at the end, my friend. I'm showing the number too. Okay. Okay. Hey. Okay. Good one. Read. Okay. Look, right at the end, after meeting all the prophets in second heaven, third heaven, seventh heaven, then he went mm. to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay. After that, what did he say? Then I was admitted into paradise, mm. where I found small walls of pearls and its earth was of musk. Mm. So after meeting everybody in the heavens, mm. after everything, then he was admitted into paradise. And mm. if you go into the Arabic, mm. this word paradise, it says Jannah. Mm. And when he says heaven, he met Jesus and everybody, that is Sama. Mm. Sama is heaven. Now, in heaven, you can find paradise as well. Mm. Paradise can be part of the heaven, but not heaven. And even hell can be part of the heaven. Mm. But heaven itself is our realms. So where he met Jesus was heaven and not Jannah and not paradise. 
this hadith is clear cut okay. he was admitted in the paradise okay let us see the, let us see okay hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on everybody 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 will laugh at you all right this is the hadith here we go read for me read 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 for me everybody will laugh at you in a second read go ahead or read what read I just read it to you. No, no, read the hadith. This is your prophet speaking too, just to show you that you are a donkey when you speak to Christian prince. You are a certified donkey. Read the hadith. This is your prophet talking. Read it. Did you, did you get my point that hadith I read it? I got your you, point you that you are a donkey. I got your point that you are a donkey. Read so, the hadith. I have a hadith in the front of your eyes. I want you to read it. Read it. And admit that you are a donkey. Okay. Muad bin Jabbar says, I heard the Messenger of Allah say, Paradise has 100 grades, which of which is as big as the distance between heaven and earth. The highest of them is Firdos, and the best of them is Firdos. The throne is above Firdos, and uh, from it uh, spring forth the rivers of Paradise. Hmm. If you ask Allah, ask him for Firdos. So where does he say Jesus is in, in uh, Firdos? No, I want, I, want, I want you to tell me. So what is Paradise? Paradise is what, what is paradise? What, what, that, what is the question? Catch all question. all the heaven is paradise. All the heaven is paradise. I am not. That hadith. Is so. What? No, astaghfirullah. Okay, so that hadith say he hadith says that he met Jesus in second heaven. After meeting him, he said, "Then I was admitted into paradise." No, this that is your this is your, you no, this is your this is your stupid translation. You see that in the hadith doesn't say. You see, this is this is your problem, Muslims. Paradise is Jannah. This is our paradise. So the the Jannah, the paradise is one hundred floor, and there is best floor. The last floor is the best of it. Let's say the for example, um, I want to go to um, what was the example? I want to go to a particular store like. Uh, okay, Adidas. so was was Jesus in Jannah or Adidas. he was not? Adidas. Adidas. Was Jesus in Adidas, Adidas is part of Adidas is a part of the shopping center. So if you meet somebody in shopping center <laughs> and then you say then after meeting that person I went to Adidas, that does does that mean that person was in in the shop Adidas? No. Okay. That's right. exactly what happened here. Okay, Abdul. Abdul. Jesus was Abdul. Okay, listen, listen. Heaven, I, you know what? You know, you know Abbas. You know Abbas Adidas. Abbas. Abbas, I want to, I want to, I want to take Abbas, Abbas. I want to take advantage of having a majestic, knowledgeable person like you. And as long as you are talking about this, no, I'm not. I'm not. But no, oh no, 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 no. Just, just wait, 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 just wait. Okay, where we can find the Nile River? As long as we are talking about the paradise, is it true that the Nile River and Euphrates are in the paradise? So you agree? You, you have no proof of Jesus in paradise. Well, guys, you are no. I got you busted already. I got you busted already from your prophet teaching. Do you agree that your prophet he found? Do you agree? You can ask me any Do you agree? Do you agree? Do you agree that your prophet, when he went to the the the, the paradise, you are the one talking about paradise. He found in the paradise two rivers, four rivers. Two of them is the Nile and Euphrates. Yeah, so okay. Why you say to me? 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 You do not know the location. If we knew where they are, because according to your stupid prophet, the Nile River and the Euphrates River is where the paradise. Here we go. You are the one who agree with that, and you said you agree with it. So how it is in heaven if the Nile is in Egypt? It's coming all the way from uh, from from the heart of Africa, and the Euphrates is coming from from uh, Turkey. How you are a prophet? You say the Nile River and the Euphrates are the rivers of the highest floor yes. in heaven. You are the one who mentioned lot of tree, aren't you? Yeah. And the lot of tree, there is four rivers. Two of them hiding, and two they are not. Muhammad asked Jibreel, what are these rivers? He replied, those two hiding rivers are the rivers of paradise. As regarded the two manifest ones, they are the Nile uh, and Euphrates. See, you're breaking up badly. No, I'm no, not. No, no, I am not. You hear me very well. I, I, I can't hear no, 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 no. You hear me. You hear me. Stop being. Don't, don't hang up. How you stupid prophet, he think 
that the Nile River and the Euphrates River are coming from under the tree, which is the tree of Allah, which is in the seventh heaven, which you are saying to me, this is the highest floor, which is Jesus is not there according to you. No problem. How you are saying, how your prophet says such a stupid thing? Because according to this, Muhammad he did not go to the sky. He went to the heart of Africa. In the same time, he found the Euphrates there too. Uh, okay, what, what's the point you're making here through the Azadid? What are these? Until now, right? until now, Abbas, you do not know what the point. Guys, Abbas, until now, he do not know what the point. How Muhammad, he went to the seventh heaven. How he went same from same gate thing. number one, gate same number two, thing. gate number three, Bye, gate number four. Down. And then how you are saying that Jesus was not in paradise, which is heaven. But in the same time, in that paradise, we find that the Nile River and the Euphrates is coming from there. Did your prophet really go to Africa uh, or he went to the seven heaven? Bring the hadith a little bit down. Let me read you what's the point you're making it because... Uh, I'm reading it. Here we go. It's in the front really of you. It's in front of you. It's in the front of you. It's in the front of you. So, so you you saying the hadith says the Euphrates River and Nile River are in heaven and in paradise. That's what you're saying? Mm-hmm. Okay, did you get my point that I said to you, paradise is part of heaven, but all heaven is not paradise. Mm. Because the hell is also in it. Okay, heaven. what is the word? When you say, uh, Abdul, yeah. Abdul, Abdul, so, Abdul, so Abdul, 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 you know, you are trying to find thought to answer. How the Nile River and Euphrates, they end in the seven heaven? I'm going to say that again. I think you just ignore me what I said. Hmm. Now, paradise is part of the realms of the heavens. This is not the question but now. The this is not the question. The, this is not the question. Paradise. How the Nile there River... The hadith, stop stop running hadith. away. People are laughing and dying at the stupid lie of Muhammad. Obviously, he did not go anywhere. He did not know where the Nile River is. He did not know where Euphrates is. And he is a guy is making up a story. Did he... So did, he did your prophet found you are claiming to be all knowing God? You know everybody laughing. No, no, we knew where is Nile River. I do not need to be God to know where is the Nile River is. I do not need to be God. Okay. All right. So the is this is a different question now. No, you this is not a different question. Nile no, that, that, that that's not a different paradise. question. You say that Muhammad he went to the last heaven. Did you say that? Okay, so what Muhammad he found in that location, which is Jesus is not there, right? Okay, what he found there, he found the Nile River and the Euphrates. He says, then after that, he went to paradise in the Hadith. After no problem, no, Muhammad, no problem, he went he to paradise. Okay, now he is in paradise. He's okay. just man, just, come on, speak like an adult. Okay. He is now in paradise. Okay, he entered paradise, he opened the door of paradise, and he asked Jibreel, what is this? He said, those are rivers. He said, what rivers, what they, what they are? He said, the, the, the one, there is two hiding and there is one they are not hiding. The one which are not hiding, they are Nile and Euphrates. Where Muhammad, he went. Okay, uh, what, okay, well, once again, well, what's the, what, what is the number of the hadith? Can you show me the number of the hadith, please? Which is the if hadith, you will not like it. Because you're not showing me the full speed. Because it's the doesn't matter. I, I just want to read it. You're making the point. I want to read do you it. Do you accept the hadith uh, before I show you the number? Do you accept the hadith before I show you the number? Of the hadith because you're okay. Not do, you pro do you make a promise if it's the if you will accept it? Do you, you make a promise if it's the if still you accept it? Uh, your promises, your promises. <laughs> do you promise? Allahu Akbar Kabira. Are you going to say it's the if? Listen. Are you, you going are to say? Are you going to say it's the if? Okay, this is. Okay, Abdul Batayto. Abdul, Abdul, this is potato, your potato. This is Sahih Muslim, and I can show it you from Sahih Bukhari. Now, read it. You Sahih. are, you are, you are. Sahih Muslim, Hadith number one sixty four. Sahih Muslim, Sahih Muslim one sixty four. No, you so, said no, that. Everybody I'm heard you. I'm not Every, the everybody you heard you. you. You are the one who said that if the Prophet he say to to you to order your wife to do breast for an adult, it's okay for you. Everybody heard you. You said that. Now. Answer this no, one. Don't change. It. Don't share the topic. Don't share the topic. It's recorded. It's recorded. It's recorded. It's no, no, it is there. I just, change. Okay, you can go and get the. You can go Abbas and get the video and call me back and play it and we will die laughing. 
Hey, you change it. Yeah. No, don't change the topic. I don't change the topic, you coward. Did, did your prophet really go to heaven? You say that paradise is the last floor of Allah heaven. You say that. Okay, no problem. So now we got your prophet busted by your head. Answer now. Stop talking okay, about your I'm wife. I'm not talking about your wife. Why you mention your wife now? Why you mention your wife? What's wrong with you? Stay away. Your wife is not there now. No, she will not. I, see, she, since, I know your wife. She heard obviously your wife. She obviously, 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 obviously your wife. Obviously your wife. She heard the conversation and she spanked you at home and she forced you to wash dishes and do laundry. And now you are trying to make yourself clean. It is there. It's in YouTube. It's it, it is recorded. Now answer, answer. The, how Muhammad found a Nile River and Euphrates in heaven? Okay, I'm going to read that. This is very long. This. Um, why you? Why you need to? Okay. Why you need to read the whole hadith? Read, read here. The address we don't care. It's the same story. He took him in the top of a flying mule. He went to the seven heaven. He found Isa. He found etc. He found Musa's. And then now he arrived to the last uh, floor, and he found there a tree. And under the tree, there is four rivers. First one is the Nile. Second one is Euphrates. Did your prophet he go to heaven or he went to Africa? Okay, I'm 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 I'm, I'm reading it. I'm reading it. He met uh, Jesus in the second heaven, Yahya in the third heaven, Yusuf uh, in the third heaven, Idris fourth, Harun fifth, and then he traveled on till where we reached the sixth heaven hmm. and came to Moses and I greeted him and he said, "Welcome unto the righteous." And the Lord is. I'm just uh, sifting through. Uh, before we get to the rivers then he say I came to Abraham um, I came to Abraham uh, he narrated in the Hadith Prophet ﷺ told that he saw four rivers hmm. which flowed hmm. from two manifest rivers hmm. and two hidden rivers hmm. I said Gabriel what are these rivers he hmm. replied the hidden the hidden rivers are the rivers of paradise and as regards the two manifest ones they are the Nile and the Euphrates. Mm. Then uh, the Bethel Mamur was raised up to me. Mm. And I said, oh, Gabriel, okay. So he saw the rivers on the top mm. after he met all the prophets. Mm. And then, then he went on the top, yes? Mm -hmm. So, he, mm. so he, he saw the rivers. They are rivers of paradise. Mm. So you think that is, that is exactly what he saw that was paradise. That's what he's saying. Are you okay, no. are you are you, is, are, you are you are you playing stupid now? This is not the question. How no, how not, the Nile I'm River not, I'm not. how the Nile River start how the Nile River start and he saw it in the heaven the seventh floor of Allah. How the Nile River and Euphrates those are two famous rivers exist in the Middle East. One right now coming from the north south of Turkey. The other one is coming from the heart of Africa, like Victoria. <coughs> Uh, 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 a lake as an example so how your prophet he found the Nile River in the seven heaven of Allah did your prophet go to Africa or to heaven I thought I was asking you about Jesus paradise or not do you know you're changing how rivers no we finished that when we laugh at you because your prophet question. your prophet explained that paradise is 100 floor so you are stupid now we're done with this but as long you mentioned the last floor of no, paradise no, no, no. No, as long no, no, you no, mention, as long no, no, no. as long yeah. you mention the last yeah. floor, why you are why you are trying to escape the stupidity of your prophet? Is that the problem to answer? Answer it. Answer I, it. You are the genius. Okay. Did your prophet made a stupid mistake, or he was telling the truth that he found the Nile River there? I'm clarifying your stupidity. I'm okay. Not hiding anything. Then show me the stupidity. Yeah, how? Okay. How your prophet? Yeah. How your prophet no, found the answer. Nile River? How your prophet? You will not answer this because this is embarrassing. If you give me a chance, I'll answer. Go ahead. You have a courage, okay? Now, this is understanding of this is ambiguous. This is not a clear cut understanding as the last of these. Last of these say he went to heaven, then he went to paradise. This of these say he saw rivers. Mm. It's possible that he's talking about he saw the vision of a particular river in paradise. Ah, not necessarily those words. No, no, no. What, what, vision what, vision, what vision? What vision? What vision? What, 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 what? Are you adding words? Does it say there it's a vision Muhammad was dreaming? He saw rivers and he asked Jibreel, what are those rivers? 
the many things can, can be spoken figuratively speech and mm. it doesn't mean it's literal so allah show him the vision of those rivers those blessed rivers of god really so so this is a vision okay was muhammad was muhammad a trip was, was muhammad a trip was muhammad a trip a vision or real I know there is a difference of opinion. Many people say it was a vision. Some mm -hmm. say it's a literal, and I am one one of those who believe it was a literal. Okay, so it's so he I saw. Know so, a okay, it's, as long as literal, how come you are Even saying? If it's a vision. So how he saw? As long you believe it is a literal. Even so how he saw the Nile River there? Go ahead. Even if it's a vision, when he says, my friend, how he saw that, that, doesn't that, matter now. Doesn't matter. You said it's point. okay. So now. He saw the river of Nile there. Even huh? if it's in a vision, heaven, oh, oh, heaven my, Sama, friend, my Sama, friend, my friend, Sama, my friend, my Jannah. Abdul, you listen, Abdul, listen. So, the Nile River, is it in the heaven of Allah or it is in the earth? Well, to this hadith, you understand that Allah is all powerful, and on the day of judgment, He will take those rivers into heaven and into paradise in the day of Even judgment it's, it's, it's able for him in the day to do that. in the day of judgment why is not able for god where is, to is, okay hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on abbas are you no, making the, are you making your paradise. religion now where it says where your prophet he says allah will take the nile river and your fatties to heaven are you fabricating your own now oh, no this 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 is this is how you understand these things you don't no, understand, I am not understanding no 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 you are the one who mentioned this now i'm asking you a very simple question and look at your stupid answer he said allah will in the judgment they will take them there muhammad he saw them there 1400 years ago are you stupid or I'm what i'm saying it's possible for allah to do these things you, it's possible it's possible okay it but possible okay so what was the Nile river i know your god abdul man. potato abdul abdul it's stop telling me it's possible is it is possible that allah it's all that it's God possible it is possible that it is possible that allah is a watermelon it's possible that he is a zucchini it's possible but what it's impossible is that the Nile river is in the heaven for it is not uh, Sorry, can you repeat that? You can repeat that. I You're say it, up. it is Seriously, possible, it is possible that your God Allah is a watermelon or zucchini, but it is impossible to believe that the Nile River is in the sky, for it is not. It is in Africa. What a nonsensical statement. Well, that answer me then. Is, uh, how the Nile River? How the Nile River in the time? How the Nile River fourteen hundred years ago was in the heaven of Muhammad and Muhammad saw it there. Well, we understand it. It is it possible there was a vision of that rivers he saw. He I was, don't care. You say this is okay. He saw. Did he saw them or he did not? Was was Jibril lying to him when he said this is the Nile River? As I say, it was a, it's possible there was a vision, and in the vision, does it matter? Did he saw. see? Did he, he see? The, the did he see the Nile River, or he did not? Was the Nile River there? Yes or no? If I see a Nile River, somebody send me a video. I'm seeing a Nile River. Stupid Abdul! Stupid Abdul! Nile. Stupid! stupid donkey so Abdul! Allah stop! You are ashamed of the stupidity of your prophet. Is so clear. He saw the Nile River there. He did not send him a video. Stop okay. being! Stop being a donkey. People are dying, laughing at you. And the only reason I'm keeping you alive on air because we need some entertainment. You are our joker. So I I yes, want you to answer, you. Abdul. Yes, so uh, the point here is. Yeah, the point is. is how, did he see the? Did he see the river? Yes or no? You see how you change the topic. You I am not. I am not. I am not. I am not. Me I am agree. taking. I'm so taking. A, I'm me. taking a chance. I'm taking. I'm taking a chance to give you additional spank. Did Allah? Did Allah claim that the Nile River is exist next to His house in the heaven? Yes or no? In the north of Syria, wait, wait. south. In the north of Syria, south yeah, of Turkey. Turkey isn't it? North, north of Syria, south of Turkey. Okay. So he, he was in Syria and Africa together. Huh? So he was in Africa. He was in Syria and Africa at the same time. Exactly. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are laughing with you too. Muhammad is a donkey. Allahu Akbar. Allah Akbar. So, so how, how see, guys, Africa, see guys, see guys. Abbas, Abbas is laughing at his prophet. That's wonderful. He just left Islam because he's saying so. Muhammad was in Africa and in Syria at the same time, <laughs> and he's laughing. Yeah. It just, this is a joke. Obviously, your prophet is a liar. So thank you very much for laughing at Muhammad's statement.
Can I tell you? Can I tell you a secret? No, you don't tell me a secret. Tell me why you are laughing at your prophet statement you because you just said Africa, because you just because you just because you just said that uh, okay, anyway, so Muhammad I, was in I, Africa. I, I basically debunk you. You have no proof that Jesus was in Africa. Listen, Paris. listen, listen. You, you have no you proof just, whatsoever. You just you laugh. You just laugh at your Jesus prophet. You just laugh at your prophet. And thank no, you very much for helping me to laugh at him. You laughed at your prophet statement that he is was in heaven while he was in Africa and Syria in the same time which mean Muhammad he split his feet between two far away land and he was there in the same time but yet he claimed he went to the seven heaven laugh with me again at your prophet can you say it everyone, again everyone with a little with a little bit of sense knows that I'm not saying that I'm laughing at the prophet I'm not you laughing at you did you did you say you did in Africa but yes, Euphrates is not in Africa, so how is it possible? I'm laughing at your. How is that stupidity. possible? Thank you, you very much. You see, you can laugh at me if I am the one who is saying it is possible, but I am the one who is saying it's impossible, you idiot. So you are laughing at Muhammad because it's not me who claim that Africa and Euphrates exist in one location. It is your prophet. So you are laughing at the one who is uh -huh. saying that this is possible when the one who said that is your prophet. I said it's impossible. Your prophet is a fool. So you are laughing at the one who claimed that, not at me, because it is not me who claim that Euphrates and the Nile River exist in one location in the seven heaven. Laugh more. Go ahead. You see, you don't, you don't even remember when you said something. You said your prophet was actually in Africa. That's what you said. Yes. I'm laughing at your stupidity. No, I'm not. No, you, no, you oh, stupid wait, so Abdul. You're you stupid so Abdul. I'm, I'm no, I did, no, I was saying that's mean. Your prophet. Did, did your prophet go to Africa uh, yeah, yeah, or I'm to saying. heaven? Did your prophet <laughs> go to Africa or to heaven? Because the Nile River is in Africa. That's what I said. And you laugh with me at your Afraid, prophet. But no, 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 no. You didn't say that. You so said, now, are you go, are you going to explain? Are you going? Said. Anyway, Abdul, 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 okay. Abdul, Abdul, uh, Abdul, Abdul, I will give you last chance to explain. I'm not going to talk, really. I'm going to give you last chance how the Nile River and the Euphrates end in the heaven of Allah. People are listening. I'm not going to talk. Go ahead. Okay, okay. I already answered. I'm going to give you a last chance to show me where Jesus is in paradise. Can you? <laughs> I just did. Last chance. It's a, just a, it's a challenge. No, 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 no. Just good, good. One. Nice entertainment. This is why I say Abbas is the best to love. You cannot find better than Abbas. To call you so you can enjoy the best entertainment in the world. So look what we end. We end with religion believing garbage. They don't know even what paradise is. They do not know what heaven is. They do not know what they are talking about. And obviously Muhammad is a liar. He never been anywhere. Even Aisha, she said he was next to me all night. And always Muhammad, when he do things, nobody see it. He went to seven heaven, nobody see it. Allah sent him a donkey, nobody see it. The Quran says it need 100, 1,000 years for the angels to go to heaven. Just 1,000 years to go. How Jibreel, he took him to heaven in one in a few hours. And then we find Abbas in trouble because he is the one who tried to explain to us that there's many floors in heaven and the last floor he is talking about supposedly but the last floor it was not in heaven the last floor obviously was in the middle of Africa and the same time in the middle of Turkey this is how stupid fool Muhammad is because how in the world he end in the Nile River route which is in heaven but the stupid Muhammad in his time he never heard about those great rivers so at that time the Euphrates was strong but now it's like a it's like a like a faucet because Turkey built many dam on it. So now the Euphrates go all the way to Iraq and Syria, like a drop of water, almost dry. But Muhammad the fool, he do not know where they are located. He heard about them, and he did not mention the Amazon River, which is greater than those rivers. Why he mentioned this? Because he never heard of the others. So he went there, and not only that, he mentioned rivers who they are exist in Turkey already. See, Han wa Jihan. If we go in different hadith, we will find Muhammad the fool saying this. See, Han, 
and Jihan, those are rivers next to Euphrates. Actually, they are from like, uh, 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 like they supply Euphrates with some water. They are little tiny rivers. So the stupid Muhammad, he made the rivers of Sihan and Jihan and Euphrates and the Nile from the rivers of paradise. But all of those rivers are in the ground and earth. Do you see it? This is why we laugh at this cult. Everybody, you know, the, if Muhammad is a prophet, how he says such a statement? Obviously, his journey to, to what he called paradise, it was a hocus. It is a lie. And what I like about Muhammad, that he is a person, he, when he talk, he do poo-poo. He don't speak. So the more he talk, the more poo-poo come. And the more he help us to expose him to be a false prophet. <clears throat> Did you say that Aisha, she said Jesus was, uh, okay. Yeah, I said that, Abbas. Do you want me to call me? Do you want to call me? <laughs> Abbas, do you want to call me? And I will make everybody laugh at you? We will make a video about this Aisha exposing Muhammad. Uh saying that Muhammad did not go by his body to heaven. What do you think, guys? <clears throat> or Abbas, do you want to call me so we can laugh now? Do you like to call me again? So we can die laughing, Abbas. About what Aisha she said. That Muhammad, he did not go with his body anywhere. Do you accept the challenge, Abbas? Say yes. Abbas, say yes. And I will call you. Come on, Abbas. Come on, buddy. You want more spanking for today? Or you want us to leave it for next time? Abbas, dooby dooby do, Scooby Scooby do, say yes. I logged off Skype, by the way, but I will go back just for you, Abbas. Honest to honest to the leg of Allah, say yes, and I will call you. Yes, okay, guys. Abbas, he said yes. What I can do, I cannot resist the temptation. <sighs> okay, Abbas. See how much I, I, I care for you, Abbas. I, I'm, I'm going just in Skype just for you, man. I'm sure many people, they, they are enjoying this. Okay, Abbas, let me call you. Okay. The point is, you said that I did lie yeah. when I said that Aisha. She said Muhammad. He did not. His body did not leave. You said I'm lying. No, no, no. You didn't say that. You say Aisha said he was with me all night. That's what he said. It's yeah. True. Well, if, if his body, if his body is with me, he's he's with me all night. No, no, no. You said I. Yeah, yeah. So according to you, okay. I, I so okay. Said he was okay. Hold on, hold on. Okay, he was with her. Okay. Yes. Okay, if, if if you are laying down next to your wife all night, is she saying that you are with me all night? No, yeah, yeah, of course, yes, yeah, yeah, that's right. But that is silly, what you said. That. What, what, and you call yourself a scholar of Islam. Why, why is silly? Why is silly? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, listen to me. Okay. Because this night journey took place in Mecca. This night journey took place in Mecca. So Isra came in Mecca. Oh. And Aisha didn't move to Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi until he moved to Medina. She uh, lived with him in Medina, not in Makkah. Uh, so this is so silly. If you have a little knowledge of Islam, hmm. you know that that doesn't make any sense. Okay, uh, hold on, hold on. That's my point. But was Muhammad with Aisha in Makkah or he was not? 
Is it she lived with him didn't Muhammad in, in didn't, Medina? Okay, she didn't hold, Medina. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, Muhammad, he did not live with yes. Aisha any time in Mecca. He didn't live with Aisha. She didn't move with him because she moved with him when she was nine, according to Hadith. Yes, nine, and that took place in Medina. Who's, who's, Medina. Who, who said that she did not live until until nine? That's what I'm saying. No, who Separate said? Them. No, who said that? Who said that? It's the, it's the all history, all history. Of no, he didn't marry her at the age of six. She is his wife, but he had intercourse at the age of nine. So he was, no, he was, you know, he, he was, he, he was, he was a plane. She moved with him in Medina. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. So I'm ask, okay, okay. You see, I'm just going to show, I'm going to show everybody that you are stupid officially because if Aisha, she was not with him, how Aisha, she say, he did not go by his body. So what she meant by that? How she knew? Okay, of course, that's that's nonsense. Of course, that doesn't make any sense at all. I'm asking you. Don't tell me don't no, make sense. Are you, are you saying Muslim. Aisha? Are you saying Aisha is lying? This is just a co this this is just a common knowledge in Islam. I can show you there are many ahadiths about that when he was in Medina. Then Aisha came and moved. This is not a question. Now. We will go. We will go there. Not in Makkah, but you okay. are making. We will go there. We will go there. I'm asking you now. How Aisha, if she was not living with him, she knew that the Prophet did not go to heaven if she is not next to him. How how simple I can be? I said if the hadith says that, then that this cannot be trusted. Of course. Okay. That so, cannot be right. Okay, so, so hold on, no, 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 so, 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 so Aisha, okay, so Aisha, she was not with the Prophet, she, but yet she witnessed that the Prophet did not go to heaven by his, at least physically, okay, did Aisha, is it possible that Aisha is fabricating or lying, or maybe this is what Muhammad told her, because she is so young, maybe she was asleep snoring, Aisha. Aisha Raziallah a mother of the believers, have no reason to such, say such a blatant lie since she knows mm -hmm. Muhammad doesn't warn all the Muslims, mm -hmm. do not lie upon me, otherwise you will be in hell. Mm -hmm. She would never well, for say me, anything you see, lie. You see, for so me, for me, for, thing, for, for me, for me, for me, all the stories of Muhammad, about Muhammad, is fabricated by Muslims, I believe. Secondly, if Aisha, she is saying that, regardless if she was living with him or not, that means Aisha, she is either she was with him. That means all the stories Muslim they taught us about where Aisha was located at that time is a lie. And the age of her marriage was a lie. And in the same time, okay, if, okay, if she yeah. was, hold on, hold on, hold on. And if she was saying what Muhammad told her, that even make it more horrible. Because if Aisha, she is the first witness and Muhammad, he told you, took your half of your religion from this uh, redhead woman. So if the redhead woman who is giving you a bunch of lies and one of those lies that Muhammad did not go to heaven, why Muhammad he ordered the Muslims to take your religion from her? Uh, do you see you talk to many Muslims? Um, I told you last time before as well. I can see through you or what exactly you are. See through like x-ray. Mm. I can see through you. I know exactly what you're doing right now. Mm. What I'm doing. I want you to show me the hadith. Where she say I was lying next to him and he go nowhere. No, no are you see, for me, I did not say, I, I did not, I, you know, you see, so you well, when I, I, hold on, 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 I just explained to you what Aisha, she said, that Aisha, she said that he went by his spirit, not by his soul, but this is mean that Aisha, she is saying that his body was next to me, otherwise, how Aisha, she knew? Yeah, exactly. Show me the hadith, please. I okay, here we go. Hadith. This is the never read the hadith. This is the Quran. Like okay, this is the Quran. This is Ibn Kathir. I will put it for you on the screen. All right. And this is Aisha speaking. Uh, uh, it says here. Let's see. She said. I'm, um, I'm going to show it in the screen. Refreshing. Okay, here we go. Hold, hold right on. Now. Hold on. She said, and Aisha cannot so, uh, hold on. Ma fuqida jasad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, walakin usriya biruhihi. 
his body did not he did not leave wasn't missing but he was there is nothing your page you need to i can't see anything it's in the front of you will take time maybe take take your time so this is this is uh, tafsir ibn kathir page number 433 the chapter of isra verse number 1 aisha the first thing in there it says the first thing in the page aisha she said that the body of the prophet was there was not missing but he was he went up to heaven by his spirit by his soul so if it was not there and she is the one who is confirming it was it wasn't missing so that means Aisha she was there because how she is saying it wasn't missing. Who is the one who checked it at the in the middle of the night? So okay, okay. Who is the one no, no, Abbas, Abbas, one Abbas, Abbas, Abbas? Who is going to find yeah. who is the one who will find a missing person in the middle of the night? Isn't it his wife? Okay, I want to clear one thing. Hmm. So is the Arabic doesn't say that he was next to me. No, he doesn't say that. No, it says I'm translating Does to you. Say that? Hold on, I'm translating to you. His body was not missing, but it was his soul which went up to heaven. So it wasn't missing his body. She said his body, the word body. So his body is next to her. Okay. Because how Aisha she knew what happened in the middle of the night if she is not with him. Oh, okay, okay. Now now the complete picture has completely changed. Now I tell you why. Hmm, why? If she said he was next to me. Hmm. Then that means she is saying that I was present there. Hmm. If she's saying hmm. his body was still in the world, but his spirit was not, then you can say that she's talking about the knowledge that she heard from the prophet. Okay, hold on. So how how the prophet? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Abbas, 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 just to show you, just to show you. How, how, I was next to okay, him. Okay, okay, okay. How I will show you how stupid what you say. So the prophet he went to heaven and he claimed that he went to heaven. Nowhere in any hadith he if said. Hear you, up. Hold on, no, you hear me. No, up. Nowhere, nowhere, Muhammad he said I went up to heaven by my soul. Do you agree? Uh, by by my soul in in my knowledge, no. Okay, so Muhammad himself he is not. No, okay, so that's mean. So that's mean Muhammad is that's not aware. Hold on. That's mean Muhammad in nowhere he's aware that he was there not physically, but maybe spiritual way. But Aisha she confirmed that his body was not missed, and in order for Aisha to know that his body was missed, wasn't missed, we need to know who was next to him to be sure that he is not missed. Who is the one will be next to the prophet in the bedroom? The wife. Who is the one reporting that his body was not missed? Aisha. So it must be Aisha she was with him at that time. Regardless of Muslim, they say Aisha she was in Mecca or in Medina. I don't, I don't care. Obviously Aisha was living with him during that time. And she is the one who reporting that his body was not missed. And Muhammad never said, no, I did not go there. No, what happened. Now you're becoming a, a, your imagination. Okay, my okay, my not my imagination. I want to explain to now me who is the one who is the one who found the body. Okay, who is the one? Abbas, 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 Abbas. Okay, who is the one who found the body of Muhammad? There did not go. Possibly his wife Sauda was next to him. And Sauda okay, how come? Okay, hold on. How come Sauda? Okay, but the hadith does not say that the one who report, the one who, the, that the one who report, Abbas, Abbas, the one who. This is not a hadith. Can you find me a hadith from? It is a hadith. 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 You idiot. You stupid! When you when you say Aisha, she said that means it's a hadith. You idiot! It says that in front of you. Now I'm asking you: Did Sauda report that the the body of the Prophet was not missed in any hadith? No. Who was the one who reported that? Aisha. No, no, no. There, 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 there. Yes. And that's why I give, I give you my answer. I think I don't know what you want from me to I'll tell you more. No, I want to know how Aisha she, how Aisha, if Muhammad never said, if, uh, if Muhammad never said anywhere that I went there only spiritually, what happened? because, because you see, was, because you see Abbas, Abbas, did, did Allah, did, did Allah, did, did Allah send Muhammad a physical animal to carry him? Yes or no? I, I'm 
one of those believe. I believe there was not a vision. It was a, it was a literal. No problem. But I'm asking you: is it is it a physical animal Allah He sent to him? It's called Al Burak. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, yes. so Aisha she got Muhammad busted because Muhammad did not go anywhere. Muhammad his body was next to her. So this is uh, okay. This is Ibn Kathir first of all to start with. It's so I'm, I'm going to challenge this against the Sahih Hadith. Sahih Hadith say he went physically. My friend, my friend, my friend. Uh, get, get. Uh, you see, you Muslims, you are the one who collect the Hadith. You are the one who give us the Hadith, and you are the one who who who, who printed. And then you say to us, it's not correct. So why you collect it? Take care. <laughs> anything, anything is embarrassing. It prove that Muhammad is a fraud. It is not Sahih, brother. Oh, for sure you will say it's not Sahih because this one will get Muhammad busted. The women she just witnessed that he was there. Nobody missed his body. So it's very obvious that Muhammad's story, all of it is destroyed by one sentence from Aisha. Just one sentence from Aisha destroyed Muhammad's lie. And this is let me let me try actually to find you the same book, but in a share uh, shareable link where you can uh, where you can use Google translation. All of you, give me a second because this is Google uh, page and. Uh, <clears throat> Give me a second. I'm just trying to find you something I can share. I have the hate in front of me, as I showed you on the screen, but it's in Google Book. And Google, uh, you can have to use Google Translation to translate. And look now actually I, I found a more reference which I, I can mention another another woman she busted Muhammad but this is here from Shia website let me pause this one this is not a Ibn Kathir this is not Sunni this is Shia website But the reference it says that Umuhani, the daughter of Abi Talib, she said that when the Prophet he went in his journey, he was not up in heaven, but he was in my house sleeping. This is a Muhani. Let us see. Uh, and actually, there you will see that I, uh, uh, everybody was saying to Muhammad, you are a fraud, you are a liar. That's not true. Actually, this is Ibn Kathir. Actually, this is Ibn Kathir. Hold on. This is Ibn Kathir, the, the, the link I gave you. The link I gave you, sorry, it's Ibn Kathir. It's a Shia website, yes, but it is Ibn Kathir. Let me... Uh, here we go. The same link I gave you guys, this is where Ayesha, she said that he was not left up by his body, but by his soul. And Umuhani, she confirmed that he was sleeping next to her in her house. Here we go. If we go here. Uh, 
Actually, not only that, in the Bikati it says, when Muhammad started telling this story about him going to heaven, many people, they left Islam. Let me do this. Let me let me use Google Translation. Give me a second. Give me a second. My internet is going up and down. I hope we will not lose internet. Okay, we will use Google Translation for this. And you will see how much confused the Muslims about what happened to Muhammad, starting from his wives, and how people they left him for he is a liar. That many people they became apostate after he claimed that he went up to heaven. And when he mentioned that, that he went to Al-Aqsa Mosque and he went to heaven, people start talking about it. And people who believed and believed him apostate. You see them? Uh, do you see it? What happened to people? They discovered that he is a fraud. He's a liar. Especially when his wife, she got him busted, that he was with, he was with me. He did not go anywhere. This is in the book of Ibn Kathir. And then here it says, uh, the daughter of Abi Ummu Hani, daughter of Abi Talib, it says that the Messenger of Allah uh, grant him, etc. He 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 slept with her. Translation here is not correct. He slept with me the night, so he prayed, and next day he started telling them about what happened. He did not go anywhere. He was sleeping with her all the night. Do you see it? He slept with her all the night. In the morning, he started telling people that I went to heaven, I went to Jerusalem, I went, etc. And I saw the Nile River in the heaven. People, they, they, right away, they discovered that this guy is a fraud. Even those who believe in him, it says they left him. Can you see the link? The admin is posting the link. I already posted the link. The admin already posted the link for you. And we can post it here again. Hold on. <clears throat> yeah, here we go. So when the Muslim they try to defend such a false prophet, we you know we 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 laugh, we laugh at their answers. And this is why this poor Abdul, who is struggling to tell us where is heaven and what heaven, he don't know. Oh, what he knew that Muhammad told him that there is a seventh floor and there's 100 floor and then in the seventh floor there's four rivers and then we discover that those rivers all of them they are earthy river obviously Muhammad is a fraud he never went anywhere all right yeah anyway I want to say thank you guys for being here I hope we have a good time together today and thank you for Abbas for giving us good, good entertainment and for Farouz yeah. This guy is a, is a good to have uh, to have him for entertainment too. We will call all oh, Farouz. I will call you always, so I can hear you saying to me hello. Do you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. You are the best hello ever. All right, between all mankind. So all of you, thank you very much for being here, and I hope soon we will go live on air and we will have more fun, more time, and uh, uh, I, I will start posting short videos. I'm expecting you guys to translate, add subtitle share it with your friends and this is why we are making them short to make it air easy for everybody like the videos now we are making is very long and even it's hard for some to download for they have a low uh, 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 data they don't they cannot download such a long uh, uh, videos and then to upload it again and do editing so we will make short videos to be sure that all of us we can work as a team and we can do a good work together exposing this false fraud liar muhammad who obviously cannot be trusted in anything. By the way, yesterday I went to heaven and I found, uh, I'm not sure if I should tell you what I found in the heaven of Allah yesterday. 
I found uh, Hollywood there and uh, I found John Travolta Michael Jackson Monica Lewinsky and Billy Clinton in the fourth floor in the fifth floor brother I found Ivanka and her husband Trump he wasn't there because at that time he was a vacation in Florida however they showed me his house it was in the seventh floor he have the money he got the honey true story anyone can prove me wrong all the Muslim will say liar liar how come your prophet he say all oh, this garbage you don't say to him liar shame on you none of what Muhammad say makes sense for a second yet they debate about it they fight up they are willing to kill you for it when all of it is not even a cartoon even cartoon doesn't fit cartoon of Mickey Mouse is more realistic than the stories of Muhammad thank you all for being here may the Lord bless you and I will see you soon again Christ is Lord Islam is false and thank you for being here